Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Doomsday I Have a Super Survival System. Chapter 1, Crossing the Doomsday System. No yes right. Standing in front of the window, and Kai looked at the street scene outside, her face filled with confusion. He just took a one-hour lunch break. Why did he wake up and the whole world turned into a doomsday appearance? The tall buildings outside are in tatters, the streets are full of abandoned cars, and some shops facing the street are still burning, and in more distant places, there is a roar of guns and violent fires from the explosion. To say that this is a dream, it would be too real, but to say that this is reality, it would be too illusory for Tai Zan. What's more, the own room hasn't changed. A bed, a cabinet and those familiar miscellaneous items all prove that this is a rental house that Ankai has rented for three years. He also wondered if someone had put a display on his window. After all, there are countless spoof videos on the internet. As a result, when he opened the window, he found that there was no screen outside. Instead, the blasting sound was louder, and the air was filled with the smell of gunpowder smoke. Everything he saw was real, and he did pass through. What the hell, are you still relocating as a whole now? And Kai is unable to complain. He retracted his gaze and took out his phone. The mobile phone has electricity but no signal. Yes, it's all in Otherworld, and the phone can still have a signal, that's hell. After checking the house a little bit, all my own things are still there. The clothes, shoes, laptop, and some snacks and happy water from my own store are all well preserved. Turned around and came to the door of the room. When I was about to push the door out, I realized that a line of small print suddenly appeared in front of me. Open black lens bracket metal handle, 91% durability. Building materials, detachable. Close black lens bracket. Ha, ha ha, what is this? System. Although he still hasn't fully accepted the fact that he may have crossed, as an old bookworm who has been reading for many years, he is no stranger to the system. And Kai once imagined how good it would be if there was an extra wealth system on his body one day. It didn't matter if he walked on tasks with breathing and heartbeat, as long as he gave money. It's a pity that the wealth system didn't wait, but it waited for an inexplicable crossing in such an unknown system. But anyway, with the system, and Kai's heart is a little more settled. Looking around, the system really helped him identify many things. Cloth sheets have a durability of 89% and a dirty degree of 13%. Life material is detachable and combustible. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket double door wooden cabinet, durability 77%, 15% dirty. The building materials are removable and combustible. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket plastic bottle, durability 82%, dirty degree 3%. Multi-purpose material, can be smelted. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket wooden floor, durability 66%, Dirty degree 34%. The building materials are removable and combustible. Close black lens bracket. It seems that the materials are also divided into categories. And there are durability and filthiness. In other words, what the hell is the 13% filthiness of my bed sheets? Did I wash it only a week ago? But now is not the time to delve into these things. And Kai feels that the most important thing for him at the moment is to understand own situation first. The brief observation before, allowed him to conclude that the world was restless. Either war is breaking out, or it is at the end of the day, but no matter which one it is, it is definitely not a good thing. Needless to say about war, and Kai has never been in contact with war, nor has he ever thought that he will be in contact with war. He is at a loss about the term, war, and has such a trace of fear. And what if it is the end? That might be even more troublesome. There are so many novels, games, and film and television works about the apocalypse on the Earth. There are nuclear war apocalypse, climate mutation apocalypse, alien invasion apocalypse, and the most commonplace zombie apocalypse. Either one is more terrifying than a simple war. The difficulty of living is much higher than the former. If you can choose, and Kai certainly hopes that he can return to the Earth, but I am afraid this is an unattainable dream. So what he hopes now is that war is breaking out in this world, so that as an ordinary person, he might still live a little easier. Before going out, and Kai first went to the bathroom to check the water source. Fortunately, there was still water. Open the door, and there is a long corridor outside. 
The house and Kai was renting was originally at the very end of the apartment, and there was a window on the left-hand side after coming out. But now after he opened the door, he was in the center of the apartment. There were corridors on the left and right sides, each of which was about the same length as the corridor of the apartment before crossing. In other words, he has doubled the space on his left hand out of thin air. Now the length of this apartment building is twice as long as the original one. Let's look for it first. And Kai dare not go to the street. It was messy at first sight, and he didn't want to die under stray bullets. This apartment is so big, it's good to see if there are any neighbors and get some information. Unfortunately, and Kai knocked on the doors of several rooms without getting any response. If you think about it, you can understand that if you change to him, whether it is war or doom, there will always be a sign before the outbreak. If there is a chance to escape here, it is estimated that no one will be willing to stay in this place and wait for death. That is to say, a traverser like himself, who traverses inexplicably, will appear in such a position stupidly. Since there is no one, then I'm not welcome. And Kai rubbed his hands, randomly picked a room, suddenly raised his foot, and kicked the door in front of him. Sure enough, there was no one inside. Garbage was thrown all over the floor, and tables, chairs and benches also fell to the ground. And Kai moved some numb souls, walked in, looked around, all kinds of information began to come into view. Then he began to lean over to collect various materials. In just a few minutes, he had already thought very clearly. I dare not say that it is exhaustive, but he thinks the own plan should be no big problem. First of all, suppose that the world is breaking out of war, and the place where guns roar in the distance is the battlefield. Now the past is no different than looking for death. The best option is to wait for the end of the war to find humanitarian channels for help and to obtain asylum as innocent people. Of course, this is the most perfect route. In fact, Ankai doesn't think this road will go smoothly. Second, if the sound of guns in the distance is not the scene of a war, but a battle between humans and certain terrorist creatures in the apocalyptic world, of course this can also be said to be a war. If this is the case, he is still looking for death in the past, and he may encounter monsters along the way. Leaving the apartment is a more dangerous choice. After all, there are enough rooms and various materials here, if you use them well, you can greatly improve your own survival rate. Regardless of the situation, survival is the most important thing. And if you want to survive, you must have all kinds of materials. When he was on Earth, he was an old player of survival games, and he naturally knew the three elements of survival. Fresh water, weapons and refuge. The shelter is tentatively designated as own residence, there is nothing to say about this. Food and water, there is still some in the own room, but it will not last long. As for weapons, this is not a good solution. A stick is also a weapon, and a sniper rifle is still a weapon. If possible, of course everyone wants to get a powerful weapon. But if you want to return, it is still a big question whether you can get it. But in any case, if you have something to collect now, maybe it will be useful. There are many waste papers on the ground, and Ankai glances over. Open black lens bracket old newspapers, life materials, burnable. Close black lens bracket, open black lens bracket magazine, life material, combustible. Close black lens bracket, open black lens bracket broken cardboard box, durability 62%. Life material is combustible, materials needed for repair, waste paper 5. Click repair, close black lens bracket. Ha, huh, can this cardboard box be repaired? Then why don't the things in my room have any repair options? It's obviously not very durable. Is it because there is no material on hand? And Kai did not immediately choose to repair the cardboard box. Storage boxes are of course useful, but it is not impossible to throw supplies directly on the ground. These old newspapers must have some information about the world. His first task now is to figure out what is going on here and the newspaper will not disappear after reading it, and you can take it to repair the cardboard box after reading it. Thinking about this, and Kai stacked old newspapers and magazines and placed them in a tattered cardboard box, almost filling the box. He picked up the cardboard box that was about to be completely torn down, ran back to his own room, and put it on the ground. Then, without stopping, he ran back to the room where he kicked the door open again. Searching for materials is very fast, and the ghost knows if there is any danger in this apartment. 
it is better to seize the time to find as many things as you need while there is no danger. In addition to food and drink, waste paper and wood are very useful for the materials Ankai needs. Newspapers can be used to understand the world, magazines can be used to relieve boredom, and can be used to set fire after reading. Wood can be used to repair furniture, and it can also be used to burn fires, and you don't have to think about it. The role of wood is definitely more than that. And Kai tried to disassemble the furniture, but was prompted to lack tools. He was taken aback for a moment, and immediately realized that this is not a game after all, and it is too fantasy to slap wood with bare hands. If you think about it this way, repairing furniture should also require tools, but is there a shortage of tools? Obviously not. And Kai walked around the furniture and started rummaging for other things. The family looked panicked when they evacuated, but the things that should be taken were really not pulled. Anyway, and Kai looked for a long time and didn't find any tools. Of course, people who live in apartments generally don't prepare too many tools. But that's okay, you can always find tools in such a big apartment. So next, and Kai began to kick the door continuously, and when he saw the clothes and waste paper, he temporarily packed and sent back to his own room. He was not in a hurry for things like wood and pots. The wood won't be lost here. He doesn't use the pot right now. What he needs most now is the handy tools. With the tools, he can dismantle and repair the furniture. In addition, he also found some food. I found more than a dozen houses in one breath, kicking my legs numb, and found two canned meat, two breads and a large bucket of purified water in total. Don't you have fresh water? Some people will bring everything they can bring when they are evacuating, but some people will miss a lot of things, such as food and drinking water, and a radio and a laptop that he found. Found in a bedside table, it was obviously missed here. He also found the tools, a claw hammer and a crowbar. They are all good things. And Kai happily pinned the two weapons around his waist. Then he returned to the room where he was kicked off initially, and once again focused on the furniture dealer who was to the bottom. Sure enough, the detachable option lights up. Select disassembly. In the next second, his body moved on its own. He held the furniture with his left hand and raised the claw hammer with his right hand. The dining table lying on the ground suddenly disappeared, replaced by three flat pieces on the ground, board. On how a table can be turned into three regular wooden boards, Enkai cannot draw a conclusion, and everything can only be attributed to the mighty power of the system. Enkai dismantled a dining table, a double bed, and two chairs in one go, and got a total of 12 pieces of wooden boards, plus the stool legs on the ground, it was a reward. He couldn't take so much wood at once, so he could only move it in three batches. Because of this, I was so tired and sweaty. To be honest, he himself doesn't remember how long he hasn't worked like this. In addition to going to work, he usually uses his mobile phone to play games at home. Physical work is really a very remote thing for him. After I had the planks and claw hammers, I went to look at my own furniture, and sure enough, the restoration options were all lit up. And Kai let out a sigh, his face couldn't help but smile, as expected, his own guess was correct. So, he turned his head and looked at the door. Old wooden doors have a durability of 53% and a dirty degree of 49%. Life material can be disassembled, repaired, strengthened, and combustible. Close black lens bracket. Wow, there are four attributes in total, bull. When observing the furniture, there is no option that can be strengthened, indicating that the furniture cannot be used for the defense of the ascension house, but the wooden door can. It's just that the strengthenable option is currently grayed out and cannot be selected. It should be related to durability. Enkai chose to repair the wooden door. The 12 wooden boards he brought back quickly disappeared in half. After 10 seconds, the old wooden door became as if it were brand new, if it weren't that dirty. After the durability returned to 100%, the enhancement options really lit up, and Enkai immediately checked the enhancement materials, and the results obtained were mixed. The strengthening of the wooden door is actually divided into two parts. Open black lens bracket wooden strengthening, strengthening materials, wood 15, nails 20. Tools needed. Hammer. Close black lens bracket. Iron sheet reinforcement, reinforcement materials, metal 10, tape 5, nails 30. Tools needed. Hammer. Close black lens bracket. 
the two strengthening methods provide 30% and 50% defense enhancement respectively, and if the iron sheet is strengthened, it can also ascension the sound insulation of the door. It can be said that both schemes are very good, but now a very realistic problem lies in front of Ankai, that is, he has no materials. The wood is actually okay. If it's a big deal, go to other rooms to demolish the home. If the furniture is not enough, you can just demolish the door. Metal is not a big problem. An entire abandoned apartment building can provide too much metal. But tape and nails are more troublesome. And Kai has searched for so many rooms, not even a single nail, not to mention the tape, there are a few people who buy so many building materials when renting an apartment. This tape refers of course to engineering tape, and stationery such as double-sided tape and transparent tape are naturally not suitable. Don't you have to go there? And Kai thought silently. But he is not ready to go out yet. Let's keep looking in the building, maybe you can find it. But today is not suitable. And Kai looked at the sky. It was near dusk, and the sound of guns outside had stopped at some point. I don't know if the battle is over. If it is, it might be good news. Lock the door, push the bedside table behind the door to block it, and Kai ate a piece of bread, drank some water, and then lay in a daze on the bed. Up to now, his head is still dumbfounded. In any case, he never thought that he would cross, let alone have a system. If he told the sand sculptures about own experience, he would definitely be envious of them. It's a pity, I guess I can't go back, and I won't see those sand sculpture friends again. The most important thing around Ankai is friends. Parents are a very distant vocabulary to him. He can only vaguely recall the image of a middle-aged man. As for the mother, he has never seen it since he can remember. Thinking wildly in his mind, and Kai did not know when he fell asleep. When he opened his eyes again, it was already bright outside. Lie on the window and look out, the street is still messy as before. The fire in some places has gone out, but the flames have reignited in some places. And Kai patted her face to cheer herself up. He still has a lot to do today, and it is best to search the building as soon as possible to find what he needs. After breakfast, and Kai set out again with a hammer and crowbar. The floor and Kai is on is the fifth floor. He saw it yesterday, and there is another floor above it. There are 30 rooms on each floor, and there are a total of 180 rooms in this apartment building. If he couldn't find what he needed in 180 rooms, what would he be like? Talk less, continue to search for the great cause. With a crowbar, opening the door is much easier, at least without kicking. The feeling of kicking was really uncomfortable, kicking lightly was in vain, kicking heavier, legs and feet numb, yesterday kicked too many doors, and Kai's right leg has been a little sore since he got up today. The structure of the apartment buildings are similar, and the things inside are similar. Except for old clothes, waste paper, and wood, which are the most common things, everything else depends on luck. But Ankai seemed to run out of luck yesterday. This morning, he searched the entire fifth floor, but he didn't find anything of value. It can't be said that those materials are worthless, but what he needs most now are nails and tape. There are so many wood and metal that he doesn't bother to take them. The same is true of waste paper. He moved some into his room casually and took up most of the empty space in the room. The poor harvest in the morning made and Kai a little unhappy. He couldn't eat a little bit at noon. He stayed in bed in the morning as usual. It's not that he has a big heart, it's mainly because he was really tired after busying all morning. In order to ensure enough energy for the raid in the afternoon, a lunch break is still necessary. In addition, he was also expecting to see if he could take a nap and then travel back. As a result, needless to say, after waking up in this tattered doomsday world, and Kai couldn't help but sighed in disappointment. Continue working. He decided to take a look on the sixth floor this time. The situation on the sixth floor is similar to that on the fifth floor, except that the corridors on the sixth floor are a bit messier, and some of the doors are not even closed, just as wide open. And Kai carefully searched every corner, hoping to find what she needed. Just as he was rummaging, a slight, ah, sound suddenly reached his ears. And Kai was startled and stood up abruptly. He thought he had heard the hallucinations, and after listening carefully, he found that he had not made a mistake. Someone, and Kai ran out of the room she was looking for, stood in the corridor and listened, making sure that the sound came from the end of the corridor. 
With a smile on his face, he hurried to the end of the corridor, and soon he came to the room where the sound was coming from. Here, his voice became clearer. And Kai hurriedly stepped forward and patted the door lightly. Anyone there? There was no response inside. But Ankai is sure that he heard it right before. He thought, maybe the person inside was injured, maybe he was unconscious, maybe he was deaf and mute, unable to speak. He had a lot of situations in his mind, but his hands were not slow. He inserted a crowbar into the crack of the door and pulled it hard, and the door opened in response. And Kai opened the door with a kind smile on his face, and he was greeted by an extremely enthusiastic figure. Roar! A blood basin rushed towards Ankai, accompanied by a strong stench. Zombie! And Kai's whole body was ripened, his brain was blank, completely instinctive, and he slammed a crowbar out of his hand. Puff! Knife into the flesh! The zombies roared and took two steps backwards. And Kai wanted to turn around and run, but his legs were as heavy as lead filled, and he seemed to be no longer his own, completely uncontrollable. Seeing the zombie rushed over again, and Kai gritted his teeth and drew the claw hammer from his waist, holding the hammer in both hands, and using all his strength, before the zombie bit him, he slammed the hammer on the opponent's head. The rotten flesh cracked and blood spattered. The zombie fell to the ground. And Kai seemed to be mad, holding a claw hammer, constantly smashing the opponent's head. One hammer after another, I don't know how long it took. When he stopped, the zombie's head had disappeared, leaving only a place of unspeakable filth. And Kai felt sore all over his body. He took two steps back and sat slumped on the corridor, panting heavily. The process of killing zombies is very simple and takes a short time, but for Nkai, it feels like a whole century has passed. He has actually made countless psychological preparations for the scene before him, but no matter how well he is psychologically prepared, it is inevitable that he will be in a hurry when he encounters it. Thinking that he might be killed by a zombie, he raised his hand and slapped himself fiercely. With this slap, he didn't have any strength at all, and he swollen Owen's face on the spot, and a trace of blood flowed out of the corner of his mouth. This is a warning to warn yourself that you must be careful in the future. This is not the earth or a peaceful society, but a world that has entered the end of the day. As long as one is not careful, he doesn't know whether the world will be destroyed, but he will surely be a pigtail and die on the spot. After sitting on the ground and relaxing for a while, and Kai was relieved and got up from the ground. Walk to the zombie, take the own crowbar back first, and then observe the zombie carefully. The skin of a zombie is similar to the color of a living person, but it is slightly whitish. The zombie's body was covered with various stains and pustules, and the scalp was numb at a glance. Destroyed corpse, durability of 27%, filth degree of 99%, life material, detachable, cookable, and combustible. Close black lens bracket. Vomit. It's okay not to look at it. As soon as he saw the word, cooking, and Kai's stomach twitched. He quickly shifted his gaze and stopped watching. He starved to death, even if he jumped from the sixth floor, he would never cook zombies to eat. It was too disgusting and too anti-human. Even if zombies are no longer humans, they are humans before they are alive. Anyway, and Kai can't accept them. Let alone cooking, he can't even disassemble and burn them. He can kill zombies because they want to eat them. But after killing the zombies, he will not do other things to the corpses, after all, these people were also humans before. Thinking in another way, if one day he accidentally gets infected and becomes a zombie, he definitely doesn't want others to ruin his body. After regaining his mood, and Kai began to search the room. This room is larger than the other rooms, and at first glance, the original two rooms have been opened up. The one outside was the living room and the kitchen. He flipped through it casually and found nothing of value, then turned and went into the bedroom inside. There is a double bed and a large wardrobe in the bedroom, as well as two bedside tables. And Kai's inspection was very careful. He even lifted up the top of the bed specially. As a result, he came out with a set of bedding that was dirty and could not be seen. The double bed was only to be disassembled. A door of the large closet fell and there were some old clothes inside. And Kai turned over and found a wallet from one of the leather jackets, which also contained some banknotes. Counting it, there are more than 3,000 yuan, and I don't know what the purchasing power is. It's a pity that even if you give him 30,000, it is estimated that he will not be able to spend it, but still put it away. 
Even if you can't spend it, it's good to watch it as a picture. Finally there are two bedside tables. One of them, and Kai found a bottle of sleeping pills inside. It's not very useful, but it's better than nothing. And Kai originally opened the last bedside table with a casual look, but it gave him a big surprise. There is a black pistol inside. This gun looks very much like M1911, it is a pistol with a very high appearance rate in the games he has played before. The bullet used is 11.43mm bullets, which has good power, but because the bullet has a large caliber, the initial velocity is only 247 meters per second and the range is only 50 meters, but it is better than nothing. And Kai took off the magazine and looked at it. There were five bullets inside. Fortunately, there are bullets. He is afraid of finding a gun but there is no bullet. What is the difference between that and a fire stick? Unexpectedly, the harvest today is quite big, not only found the zombies, but also found a pistol with bullets. He had guessed what happened in this world before but now he can confirm that there are zombies in this world, but he doesn't know if there will be other dangerous elements here. Put away the pistol, it's still early, but Ankai has no plans to continue searching. The harvest of a pistol is enough. And he just had a fight with a zombie, and his mental and physical strength were exhausted, especially in terms of spirit. Being rushed by the zombie can really scare people to death. And Kai now wants to eat something, and then sleep beautifully. But just thinking about it, he still has a lot to do. Go back to the own room, lock the door, and re-block the door with the bedside table. Sitting on the bed with a stack of old newspapers, and Kai did not rush to read the newspaper, but exhaled the system interface. After killing the zombies with valuable money, he got the system prompt message. The system had always been semi-open before, and he could only perform some simple operations. Now he has accumulated enough experience after a day of searching, dismantling and repairing, plus the experience given by killing zombies all the time. After the first level, I have a valuable skill point. There are several big options in the fully open system panel. And Kai can check his own physical condition through the system. There are clear data to show his hunger, thirst and fatigue, although he can feel it himself. But in addition, the various vitamins and trace elements needed by the body are not felt by him himself, but the system can help him show them and tell him what the body lacks. Another important point is that through the system, he can check whether he has been infected with a zombie virus. This is the most important thing. In addition, the system also opens up a complete production interface. Various things can be made in it, from nail clippers to ear picking spoons, to cars, airplanes, ships, and related things. Finally, it is the skill level. This is also one of the essence of the system. The skill system in the system interface is divided into six categories. They are strength, agility, physical strength, perception, wisdom, and experience. Their respective subordinates also have many different skills. Strength represents a person's strength and attack power. Subordinate skills are mainly the use of heavy weapons, such as sledgehammer, two-handed axe, chainsaw, etc., as well as the ascension of attack power and explosive power. Agility represents a person's fists and agility. Subordinate skills are mainly the use of light weapons, such as batons, daggers, hand axes, etc., as well as physical flexibility and ascension of some fist skills. If there are enough skill points, it is easy to do let and Kai become a master of melee combat. Needless to say, physical strength is mainly physical endurance and anti-strike ability. In addition, there are some resource gathering skills, which can reduce related physical strength and increase gathering income. Perception is mainly related to the acuity of the five senses and the hit rate of long-range weapons. Especially the proficiency of firearms and crossbows can be practiced by yourself or through the skill ascension. In addition, there are many wild survival skills in this column, such as identifying plants and tracking animals, and arranging traps, which are also very useful. The flower of the wisdom column does not directly make people smarter. This column is mainly related to science and manufacturing. For example, cars and airplanes in vehicles, such as automated weapon turrets, computers and chemical pharmaceuticals, etc., all need to be ascensioned and unlocked through this skill bar. Only when the level of the smart bar is higher and the skills are more can they be unlocked. Create more and stronger weapons and equipment. The last experience is no longer even a skill. Although skills such as experience and strength and agility exist on the same panel, the experience bar cannot be added. 
Here is more to provide various statuses for Ankai. Through reading, you can unlock many strange looking buffs while learning about the world. For example, walking on mines will not explode, for example, falling from a certain height without harm, for example, there is a high probability of producing food. Boutiques, such as ascensions damage to a certain beast or a certain enemy, etc., once activated, can take effect forever. And Kai looked around and felt that every skill was very good. He wanted it very much, but unfortunately he only had one skill point. Taking into account his current needs, and Kai thought about it, and chose the, engineer, skill in the wisdom column. There are many very good skills in the skill bar, and Ankai is very enthusiastic when looking at them. For example, Tyrannosaurus Rex and Violent Dismantling in the power list, the former can reduce the physical consumption when using heavy weapons, and the latter can speed up the speed of disassembling items. Another example is Sneak and Flying Over the Wall in the agility list, one to reduce the sound when walking, and the other to be able to ascension's movement speed and resilience under complex terrain. In the list of physical strength, there are Ascension who can endure hunger and thirst, and Steel Nerves who can increase the endurance of pain and disease. The skills in Perception are even more practical, such as the Eagle Eye of Ascension's vision, Ingenuity of Ascension's experience gaining speed, and Identifying Herbs tracking animals trap master and so on. This is only a part of the examples. In fact, the skills provided by the system are not useless. If there is a high enough level and enough skill points, all of these skills can be spotted. Not to mention becoming a superman, being a US team is not a big problem, it is the kind that properly reaches the limit of the human body in all aspects. But it is a pity that Ankai still chose the Engineer series of skills after a short period of entanglement. Engineer 1 level. It can reduce the time you need to manufacture items, reduce the materials consumed during manufacturing, and have a small chance of ascension manufacturing quality. Unlock. Workbench, design table, first level tools. Close black lens bracket. This is also a magical skill. And it is the skill that Ankai thinks he needs most at the moment. Although the combat skills are good, the ascension in the short term is not great. It's like Tyrannosaurus Rex which reduces physical exertion. Is that useful? Of course there is. But what if Ankai is physically strong? For example, he could only swipe the sledgehammer 10 times. After adding the skill, the consumption is reduced. He can swipe the sledgehammer 11 times. Does this have any practical significance? This kind of skill, the more obvious the effect is for the kind of people who are already strong in physical strength. The same is probably true for other skills. In the first half of the engineer's skill, the effect is actually not much better. It takes 11 seconds to turn into 10 seconds, and consuming 10 pieces of wood to turn into 9 pieces. It is estimated that it is difficult to produce a second level one after making 100 items. Ascension can be said to be very small. But the really important part of this skill lies in the description in the second half. Unlock the workbench, design table, and first level tool set. Needless to say, the first level tool set is the most common tool such as chisel, axe and saw. The main advantage is that it is comprehensive. Once unlocked, the common tools can basically be made by themselves. If you design a table, you can use it to design and change various items yourself. For example, adding weight to the axe, adding several portable ammunition pockets to the jacket, etc. These changes are mainly for system creation. If Ankai made something by himself, as long as the craftsmanship is enough, he can of course change it at will. But the problem is that he has no craftsmanship. That's why he needs to rely on the system. But if you want to use the system to create things, almost everything is standard. If you can't meet Ankai's needs in actual use, and you need to make some personality changes, the design table will come in handy. And these two are actually incidental, what Ankai really needs is a workbench. The workbench is too important. It can be said that it is the core of the system manufacturing system. Almost all creations are inseparable from the workbench. Tools need a workbench, bullet shells also need workbenches, crucibles, the core components of furnaces, need workbenches, grills, which are the core components of ovens, need workbenches, and even bicycles are assembled. Even if there is no need for a workbench on the surface of some creations, please rest assured that in the manufacturing process, maybe the previous step or that part needs to start with the workbench and unlock an ascension step by step to reach the final demand. 
In a word, if the system manufacturing list is a big tree, then the workbench is the root of the tree. Without roots, how can a big tree grow? Of course, it's okay not to use this skill. Although Ankai's observation time is short, he still has a general understanding of the skill system. It is not impossible to abandon the manufacturing route and simply follow the combat route. The key skills are added and you can directly incarnate the US team. Three or five hundred zombies are afraid that they will not be able to enter, and they will instantly become peerless masters. Unfortunately, Ankai is not a fighting freak, he prefers to survive in a safe way. What's more, combat skills are only stronger when there are more skill points. Unless it is a mind to follow the battle route and focus on the first skill point, it will be more troublesome to change in the future. The architectural route is just the opposite. At the early stage, you can make a lot of tools, unlock various equipment and facilities, as long as you have a decent living environment, you can live a good life with very few skill points. And in Ankai's view, in fact, the two do not need to be so distinct. Even if you take the construction route, don't you need a good body? In the same way, even God of War needs equipment. Is it really going to fight the enemy with bare hands? According to Ankai's plan, he is preparing to attack the construction route and assist the battle route. The first skill is added to engineer. The workbench is too important. Naturally, the sooner you unlock it, the better. Many materials are needed to make the workbench. A total of 30 pieces of wood, 15 pieces of stones, and 15 pieces of scrap metal are required. At this time, he was a little grateful that he had crossed into the apartment building, not the wilderness, otherwise he would be really hard to find these things. Wood is the simplest, basically everywhere, you can save enough without opening a few doors. In the case of stone, the system indicates that broken bricks and cement blocks can also be used, but the requirement must be the size of an adult's fist. If you scrap metal, you can find any broken pipes, pots, kitchen knives, etc. The amount of this material may be relatively the least, but searching the entire apartment, you can find more than a dozen pots, and Ankai is not worried about this. In short, these things are available in the apartment building, and tomorrow you can collect them all. In fact, he can go out now, but he is tired and too lazy to move. After adding skill points, Ankai picked up the newspaper next to him and looked through it. This newspaper is a local entertainment newspaper. It publishes lace news and gossip. For example, the rich XX has an affair with the servants of the family. For example, there are two couples on the street of XX that actually have personal affair. Anyway, there will be no specific names, and all kinds of pseudonyms or abbreviations will be used instead, and readers can bring them in by themselves. In short, it is a newspaper of little practical value. And Kai took it as a story and finished reading a newspaper in a short while. He didn't find any information about the doomsday, but he was not in a hurry. Anyway, there is something in the newspapers, as long as you look for it with your heart, you can always find it. Reading one by one, the sky outside quickly became dim, and the same was true in the room. Today the city has not stopped water or electricity, but no one knows how long this state can last. And Kai did not choose to turn on the lights. In such a city at night, turning on the lights is obviously not the right choice. He was not so anxious that he had to read the newspaper overnight, so after the sky was completely dark, he lay down in front of the window, looking bored at the street scene outside. This is the first time he has observed the outside carefully. The streets were far more rags than he thought, and there were potholes everywhere, and the ground was full of dirt and gravel. The cars on the roadside were pitted and broken, and many cars were obviously burned by the fire. The shops on both sides of the street could not be found in good condition, and almost every store had broken doors and windows. Dark brown stains can be seen everywhere on the walls and on the ground. In the light of the fire, the city was dyed the color of the underworld. And Kai nibbled on the bread and drank the mineral water expressionlessly. His food is running out. In addition to building a workbench tomorrow, the most important thing is to collect food. In addition, the work of collecting materials cannot be stopped. He has a lot of things to build, and he has to ascension how strong his room is. After all, it is unrealistic to leave here in a short time, so a strong fortress with strong defense is very necessary. During the day today, there was still artillery fire outside. It should be human army and zombies fighting. 
Originally and Kai thought that it was pure luck that he had landed in such a place where there were no zombies, but after thinking about it carefully, it may not be the case. The fighting outside is so fierce, I am afraid that the zombies are attracted by the explosion, so the apartment has become so safe. When the war is over, mankind will either have a complete victory, or a large group of zombies will return. At that time, the ghost knew what would be like in the apartment building, so it was really necessary to reinforce the room before the zombie tide came back. Silently thinking about future plans in the bottom of my heart, and Kai felt a little sleepy before he knew it. Go to sleep, go to bed early and get up early to get good health. I used to be unable to sleep even if I wanted to sleep late, but now I can sleep to my full. He muttered a few words, turned over, turned his back to the window, and fell asleep. All citizens, ziz, we have initially controlled, ziz, please don't panic, ziz, stay at home, or go to the nearest, ziz, be sure to protect yourself, waiting for our rescue, zizi. There was intermittent sound from the radio, intermittently mixed with a lot of noise. And Kai patted the radio and sighed helplessly. The signal is too bad. Although you can probably guess what is being said, it still sounds uncomfortable. And Kai sat on the roof of the apartment building, watching the smoke and sparkling flames still rising in the distance. To be honest, he was skeptical of the information on the radio. Among other things, just listening to the sound of continuous artillery fire for several days is enough to explain the problem. Zombies are not so easy to kill. They do not move slowly, and they run much faster than ordinary people. And they are not afraid of pain, firearms, and morale. If you can't get a headshot with a single blow, it is very difficult for a zombie to be killed instantly. If the action of the human army is really successful, then the artillery fire should have ceased. After all, with the lethality of modern weapons, it is really not too difficult to kill even a person in a city. The area of this city is similar to that of Ankai's hometown on the Earth, which is the level of a third-tier city in the Celestial Dynasty. According to the city classification standard of the Celestial Dynasty, the population requirement of third-tier cities is that the population of the city center exceeds 1 million. Assuming that there were a million people in the city center originally, it is impossible for them all to become zombies. As long as the people here are not so stupid, it is not difficult to escape half of the people before the zombie upgrades arrive. Just count it by half, assuming that there are half a million zombies in this city. If this is half a million living people, it is really difficult to deal with, because people will run away and hide, they will also use tactics and use the complex terrain of the city, as long as the will is strong enough to consume any powerful enemy. This has been clearly proved in history. However, zombies do not. They no longer have reason and thoughts. They will be attracted by fresh flesh and blood, and they will also be attracted by the rumble of gunfire. The dense firepower network and weapons of mass destruction arranged by modern weapons will face 50 There is no reason why zombies who don't know how to escape and only know how to charge have not been cleaned up for 7 consecutive days. What's more, before Ankai crossed, I'm afraid it has been playing here for a long time. Although these are Ankai's guesses, there is no data to rely on, just imagination. But the truth is always right. If Ankai still had hope for the human army in this world when he first crossed over, now that seven days have passed, the sound of guns has not weakened, but has become more and more serious. Ankai knows that the people outside the city the army wants to defeat the tide of zombies, and the difficulty is probably higher than imagined. I'm afraid it's not enough to count on them. People have to rely on themselves to do it. It is now the seventh day that Ankai has traveled. Since finding a pistol four days ago, his range of movement has slightly expanded, and he has also begun to try to enter the four floors below, which he has never descended before. Many materials were collected, including food and mineral water. Relying on these materials, Ankai strengthened the own room and opened up the left and right rooms. The door of his room was directly sealed with wood and metal by him, and furniture was blocked behind the door. I believe that even if there are many zombies outside the door, they will not be able to rush in in a short time. The doors on the left and right sides of the room have also been reinforced by him, and it is not that easy to break through. The room on the left hand was used as a warehouse by him. All the materials he found are stored here. Among them, wood has the largest amount. Measured by the system unit, 
there are already 300 units of wood, which is definitely enough for him to use in the early stage. There are fewer stones and metals, and there is no way, after all, the numbers of these two are inherently small. Furthermore, he has not yet used a large amount of stone and metal, so he has not devoted time and effort to search for these two materials. The room on the right is his workshop, where the workbench and design table are placed. In the past few days, he has made a complete set of tools. He has almost all the common tools here. They are neatly hung on the tool rack on the workbench, which looks very fulfilling. Of course, after doing so many things, his level naturally rose by two levels. When he reached the second level, Enkai didn't hesitate to add skill points to the engineer. However, when I added the points, I discovered that starting from the second level skills, I actually started to need wisdom. Level up. He just noticed that wisdom itself also needs skill points to come to ascension. The system did not have relevant display before, and it did not prompt and standard until he was ready to add points. And Kai looked around for a while to figure out the relationship. Wisdom is the general outline of the skills in this entire column. The skills below are various branches that are extended. The first level of all branch skills can be ascension as long as there are skill points. But starting from the second level, the level of the general outline is required. There are 10 levels in the Wisdom Master program, which can unlock different branch skill levels. It's like a doomsday survival game he once played. At this moment, Ankai is extremely grateful. Fortunately, his initial choice is the manufacturing route. If he selects the battle route first, not only those skills need to be upgraded, but also the general outlines such as strength and agility. What's more frightening is that whether it is branch functions or general outlines, if you upgrade to a certain level, the demand for skill points will also be ascension. Once you reach the third level, you only need one skill point, the fourth to the sixth level becomes two, the seventh to the ninth level three, and the tenth level requires four. Among the vehicle skills under the wisdom column, the requirement to unlock helicopters and yachts is wisdom 10, not to mention, just to fill the wisdom level, it takes a full 22 skill points, which is crazy. However, even so, the manufacturing route can be said to save skill points. After all, as long as the wisdom bar is high enough, most of the items are manufactured without high demands on the body. On the other hand, the combat route is different. The combat system revolves around strength, agility, physical strength, and perception. For a complete combat system to take shape, it must be developed in all aspects of the body, and it can be said that it is indispensable. After the upgrade, he was complacent and was slapped fiercely by reality. And Kai was a little impetuous, and quickly calmed down. Sure enough, we still have to make more things, armed own and gain more experience at the same time, and strive to increase the skills to a considerable level as soon as possible. He gave one of the two skill points to the wisdom column, which made wisdom ascension to the first level. The upgrade of the master plan is also beneficial. The effect of the first level wisdom is the experience points that ascension gains when manufacturing items, and the chances of ascension to comprehend the blueprints when manufacturing. This is very conscience. With the experience of ascension's buff, subsequent upgrades will not be too livery. In addition, the drawings described in the skills belong to the manufacturing recipes that are not included in the system but exist in the real world. When Ankai is making various things, he has the opportunity to comprehend the drawings. But this thing is similar to a lottery, the chance is too small, if the wisdom level is not high, there is almost no possibility of comprehension. The remaining skill points are saved by him. There are a total of 5th level engineer skills, and points can be added directly to the 1st level. Starting from the 2nd level, while requesting the intelligence level, the skill point requirements are also ascending. The second level engineer needs two skill points, and he is missing one right now. It is not suitable to add other skills, so just save it. Drank all the milk in his hand and threw the carton down from the roof. And Kai stood up, moved his body a little, and prepared to move. His goal today is very simple, is to smooth the entire third floor. Two days ago and yesterday, he completely cleaned the fourth floor and encountered another zombie who was locked in the room. Fortunately, he has already had a car rollover experience, and he dare not say that he has rich experience. At least he will not panic and feel cold when he meets zombies. Smash the zombies to the ground with a hammer, and then make up the decapitation with a hand axe. 
Although the physical consumption is still serious, the entire battle process is much better than the first time. At the very least, Ankai's mental state is much better than before. The fourth floor provided him with a lot of supplies. Needless to say, those infrastructure materials. In terms of food, he provided him with a box of milk and some vegetables and grains that were not spoiled in time. It's a pity that Ankai still can't make stoves and can't cook food. These vegetables can be eaten raw, so he washes them and makes a vegetable salad. If he can't be eaten raw, just throw it aside, and even if it breaks by the time, there is no way he can do it. Who can make him not have enough level to make a stove now? The level of the furnace itself is not high, but the core part of the furnace requires iron ingots made from the furnace. The furnace is very easy to build, 60 stones are enough, but if you want to smelt iron ingots, you must have a crucible. The crucible is something that can only be unlocked by the second level intelligent third level engineer. Without the crucible, the furnace can only smelt some scrap metal, and the speed is particularly moving. Therefore, the difficulty of making a stove is really not small, and Ankai temporarily put out the idea of eating stir-fry. Back to the room, began to organize equipment. You must bring a pistol, as well as combat tools such as hand axes and hammers, as well as food and drinking water. There is also good news, that is, he made a small backpack by combining torn fabrics. Although he can only provide 12 grids and a load of 25 kilograms, it does not affect his own actions after being carried on his body. Before the backpack is overweight, he can completely ignore the weight behind him. This is a big ascension that he searched. S efficiency. When he was ready, and Kai opened the door and walked down the stairs along the stairs. The third floor is slightly different from the fourth, fifth, and sixth floor. And Kai had come down once before, but at that time he was purely exploring the way and had not searched any room. Only now did he deeply realize that this place is poorer than he thought. And this layer also clearly showed signs of being searched. Has anyone been here? This is normal. And Kai had anticipated this situation a long time ago. After all, this world is already the end, and it must be very difficult to obtain supplies. In order to survive, there is no good way for survivors other than searching. It is impossible for all the people in this city to escape. Most of the people who stayed turned into zombies, but there must be some people who survived hard. This apartment building is so conspicuous, it is on the side of the road, and there are so many rooms. If Ankai sees such a building, he must find a way to search for it. Not to mention that most of the zombies nowadays have been attracted outside the city, and those who are still in the city are also locked up in the house. The survivors can use this short peace period to find as many as possible that are useful to them, s things. Reasonable, but disappointment is certainly disappointing. Regarding search skills, and Kai believes that he is definitely not the strongest, and he probably can't find things that others can't find. Most of the things he could find were taken away, and the leftovers were probably left cold. But there is no way, even if it is leftovers, he wants it now, he can say that he lacks everything now, even if it is a piece of toilet paper, if someone is willing to give it to him, he will gladly accept it. The third floor is more damaged than the upper floors. The ground and walls were also covered with dried blood stains, showing a deep red color, which gave people a very depressing feeling just by looking at it. And Kai raised the speed and quickly searched. As he thought, there is not much left here. Most of them are broken furniture, even the waste paper is much less. After all, this thing can ignite and is relatively light. It should be a favorite material for survivors. There was no food at all. And Kai searched for a few rooms, but didn't even find the breadcrumbs. He found two pieces of old clothes. One was hidden under the cabinet, and he didn't know how to put it in. And Kai saw a corner of the clothes with sharp eyes, and took a lot of effort to pull them out. This is a cotton jacket, which has been worn out. But it didn't matter. He didn't take it back to wear it, but tore it into scraps of cloth and remade it into various objects. The other piece of clothing was buried by a pile of broken bricks. This pile of broken bricks came from a wall that had already collapsed, and I don't know how it collapsed. And Kai could find this dress mainly because he was picking up broken bricks. The stones he needed before were all hammered out by him. Because he did not have the relevant skills, he himself had never done this kind of work. The result was not only inefficient, 
but the broken bricks often did not meet the requirements of the system. It won't work if it is transformed into a small stone. The broken bricks here are not bad, the size is right, and he doesn't need to smash them. So he squatted there to pick up rocks and found the second piece of clothing while picking it up. This is a t-shirt, too dirty to see and torn to wear. And Kai doesn't mind, anyway, both clothes have the same end, just put them away. He found that he was getting more and more professional. Whether he had something or not, a room would often be searched in at most 10 minutes. Of course, it could also be because there were too few materials in the room and he didn't need to search for it. In half of the morning, he searched the third floor for most of the time and encountered several locked rooms during the period. And Kai didn't dare to kick open these rooms anymore. Having encountered what happened before, he would often be extra careful now when encountering such rooms. In fact, his caution was right. There were one to two zombies in all the locked rooms on the third floor. There was continuous artillery fire outside, the sound of explosions covered the whole city, and the zombies in the room were also attracted. It's a pity that they can't get out, so they can only scream and slap the door and wall. A room with zombies means that no one has been in it, which means that there is a high probability that good things can be produced in it. However, high profit equals high risk, and Ankai is not very willing to face the zombies now. His equipment is not very good, a small pistol has limited power, and other tools are not lethal. If one zombie can be dealt with, two are very dangerous. If you encounter more than two zombies, injury or even death is possible. After thinking about it, Ankai turned and left. Even if there is little gain in other rooms, there is no need to take risks. His current goal is to go up to his own wisdom level. After unlocking more advanced weapons, it will not be too late to fight zombies. Soon, the entire third floor was searched, and the output was more than he expected. The main reason was that there was a house with the door closed at the end. It was not searched by anyone. And Kai found two cans of meat, a few energy bars, and some fairly clean clothes. This is very comfortable. In terms of survival materials, he lacked food most. The system divides materials into three categories, namely construction, life and survival. The former does not need to be explained, most of which are wood and stone building materials. In terms of life materials, it is all kinds of tools, clothes, furniture, containers, etc., which can provide convenience to life. The last living supplies are food, water, and various medicines. With medicines, even though there is a shortage of comfort, he is not sick now and has no need for the time being. For water, it does not matter even if the water is stopped. There is a water trap in the system that can collect rain and dew. No matter how bad it is, it can also filter dirty water. As long as it is boiled, there is no problem. Only the food is different. He is currently unable to produce food at all, and eat a little less of all the food. With these two cans and a few energy bars, at the very least, and Kai can hold on for two more days. At the beginning, he deliberately added first level to the bitter cultivator skill, after all, he can ascension the ability to endure hunger. But after thinking about it again, this ability is actually more useful only in special circumstances. For example, when you are temporarily trapped in a certain place waiting for rescue, you can endure one more day and you have more hope of living or the kind of planned long-term dieting situation, which has a certain amount of food reserves, by reducing the daily intake of food, can greatly ascension survival time. But Ankai's current problem is that there is too little food reserves. Even if it is starving, it is nothing more than persisting for two or three days. Such a short time is obviously not enough to solve the food crisis. Instead of starving yourself to death in the end, it's better to put your skill points in more useful places. After searching the third floor, and Kai saw that it was still early and walked towards the second floor. The situation on the second floor is worse than that on the third floor. There is only one room with the door locked. He leaned on the door and listened. There were less than three zombies in the accent. This one really didn't dare to open the door. Opening the door would be a death. And Kai decisively admits counseling and goes to other rooms to pick up trash. As a result, he turned around on the second floor and didn't see any valuable things. It's too close to the bottom floor. The survivors can walk up to it by just two steps, and they have been raided to the point that they don't even have root hairs left. 
It only took Ankai more than 10 minutes before and after to show the entire second floor, except for two pieces of wood, half a box of nails, and some removable furniture, nothing else. There is no need to go to the first floor, he has already inquired about it the day before yesterday, and the entire ground floor is full of shops. The shops facing the street are supposed to be a place with relatively rich materials. However, they have been raided a long time ago and only some dust and glass slag are left. It is a waste of effort to go down. Do you really have to go out? The apartment building looks fat, but in fact it is terribly poor. Originally, most of the people who rented apartments were outsiders. The locals all have their own houses, even if they are already empty, there will always be some materials left behind. After all, I have lived for many years, and it is not possible to move out in a short time. The apartment building is different. Here are tenants, there are not too many personal belongings, enough to take away most of the belongings when you escape. There was nothing left, and he was searched for a few more rounds. To be honest, and Kai was lucky to be able to find these things now. So he is now facing a very serious problem, that is, the increasingly scarce food, forcing him to get out of the apartment and search for more distant places outside. You must go out to go out, after all, he can't stay here forever. In theory, it should be the best time to search, after all, most of the zombies were led away by the sound of guns, and the danger factor of the entire city was greatly reduced. Other survivors can come out, and he has no reason not to go out. It's just that Ankai prefers wretched development, since he was not a childish temperament. Before he was in danger, it can only be said that he did not have a deep understanding of the world and his vigilance was not strong enough. Now that his vigilance is strong enough, he doesn't want to go out and take risks. However, food is a hurdle that can never be passed, and if he does not go out, it means that he has cut off his food source. I thought that the materials in an apartment building would be enough for him to stay frugal for a month. For a month, he will be dismantled, dismantled, and supplemented, and done something more, which is almost enough for him to grow up. At least it shouldn't be a big problem to deal with a dozen zombies at the same time. As a result, the plan couldn't keep up with the changes. On the whole, the supplies in the apartment were less than he expected, and the food was only enough for another week. In other words, after at most three or four days, he must go out looking for food, otherwise he will trap himself to death. After struggling for a while, and Kai finally gritted his teeth fiercely. Gone, he would never allow himself to be starved to death, or to be eaten by zombies, it would be better than ending his life in pain. Looking at his only remaining skill point, and Kai opened the system panel and added it to the marathon skill under the physical strength column. The effect of this skill is that it can save 10% of the physical consumption when running, a total of 5th level, can reduce the consumption of up to 50%, with the ability to enhance physical fitness, the effect is simply outstanding. Although the effect of 1st level is not obvious, if you want to go out, even a little bit of ascension is also very important. And Kai no longer struggles too much. Now that he has decided to go out, he will make a decision quickly and cleanly. It must be inappropriate to go out today. And Kai quickly returned to his residence on the fifth floor, closed the door, stood in front of the workbench, opened the system panel, and began to make final preparations for getting out of the apartment. You must be fully prepared when you go out. According to and Kai's usual characteristics, if he can't be armed to his teeth, he will never take risks easily. However, there is no time to be a little armed now, he can only strengthen himself as much as possible based on the current situation. The only skill points left on him were given to Marathon, but it didn't matter. As his wave of preparations ends, I believe he will still be able to upgrade at least two levels, and at that time, two more skill points will be added, and he can continue to strengthen himself. The specific preparation process is simple and simple, mainly in three aspects. Water protection and weapons. The vehicle will not be considered for the time being. If a vehicle can be found this time out, that would be great, and it doesn't matter if it doesn't. Let's talk about water first. He will either not go out, or if he wants to go out, he will never come back in one day. So you must bring enough water, and the same goes for food. He didn't have much food anyway, so he decided to bring all the food except vegetables and milk. In fact, they are just two cans, a few energy bars, and a few breads, which are not too heavy in themselves. 
But even if it is not heavy, it still needs to occupy the backpack grid, and if he can find a lot of food, he also needs to bring it back, so a large enough backpack is a necessity. However, his current level is not enough, and he can't build a big backpack, so he can only find loopholes from the system. The default backpack position of the system is only the back, and only the backpack in this position is free of load. In addition, the shoulder bag and waist bag also enjoy this privilege. Unfortunately, these two positions can only be equipped with specific bags, and their space can only be loaded with bullets and medicines. In fact, there is no difference in this point of weight reduction. The so-called system loopholes actually refer to the hand equipment position. After all, it is a data-based system, and all parts of Ankai's body have been divided into equipment positions by the system. This is true for the three pack positions, as are the other equipment. For example, if there are two equipment positions on the head, it means that Ankai can wear two hats, or equipment like headgear, face mask, and other parts of the body. Of course, if he is willing to wear more, he can wear a hundred hats. So what is the meaning of the equipment position? It's very simple. Attributes. The equipment manufactured by the system has attributes, such as cold and heat resistance, damage resistance, infection and radiation protection, etc., seemingly ordinary clothes, but they have boofin attributes. And these attributes can only be reflected in the corresponding equipment position. There are only two equipment positions on the head. Even if Nkai wears a hundred hats, only two of them can be effective. No matter how much you wear, it can only make you more stuffy. There are also two hand equipment positions, one for each of the left and right hands. In theory, this can only be equipped with weapons or tools, but Ankai has tried it before, and the backpack can also be carried as a tool. It's just that if you carry the backpack in your hand, you won't enjoy the privilege of avoiding weight. But Ankai has not considered these anymore. At least when the backpack is placed in the hand equipment position, he can still enjoy the backpack lattice. This alone is already very powerful. A backpack has very limited capacity in the real world, especially the small backpack he made, which is about the size of a cross-body chest bag. A mobile phone, a tablet and a box of cigarettes are almost the same, and at most bottled water. But with grids, it is different. As long as they are not overweight, a backpack can hold more than 150 mobile phones, and because it is a similar item, it only occupies one of the grids. So an extra backpack is necessary. It doesn't matter if you can't carry it on your back. Just carry it directly in your hand and carry it on your shoulder. Anyway, it takes up the hand equipment space and will not conflict with the backpack on the back. He is such a big young man, he can't resist 50 caddies of things too much. Then there is the issue of weapons. In fact, according to Nkai's long-standing preferences, his attitude towards weapons is very clear. He likes long-range weapons. He likes guns, bows, crossbows, and even slingshots. On the contrary, he doesn't have much cold with melee weapons. It's okay to watch it, but if you let him use it, then thank you Buman. However, he has no choice now. He couldn't make firearms, and the bullets were far away. A small pistol plus five bullets was definitely not enough. For self-defense, he could only use melee weapons. For melee weapons, the system still provides a lot of them. To say that it can cause great damage to zombies, both a heavy hammer and a two-handed axe can be used. The former can headshot, and the latter can beheaded. However, Nkai chose the machete. Because the sledgehammer and the big axe are too heavy, Nkai's small body is definitely not playing well. The machete is different, it is very light in weight, and the damage is not bad. Compared with the one-handed axe, the biggest advantage of the machete is that it can create a pulling effect. When fighting a zombie, if you attack its vitals, the fault tolerance rate of the machete will far exceed that of the hand axe. So the weapons and Kai prepared for him were a machete, a hammer, and a pistol with five bullets. You don't need to make a hammer, just take one from the tool holder. The machete needs to be specially made. And Kai took out the scrap metal from the warehouse. Because the tools were made before, there are only seven scrap metals left. Fortunately, only five scrap metals are needed to smelt a metal ingot. The speed of the furnace is too slow. It takes one hour to melt a scrap metal, and five hours to smelt a metal ingot. No way, who made Ankai unable to make the crucible, the core component of the furnace? 
The crucible slowly melted, and Nkai began to prepare the third item, protection. Needless to say, the protection is to protect him from being scratched and bitten by the zombies. Although the early stage protective equipment can't stop the zombies' attacks at all, it is enough to hinder him a little. Now he has not learned tailoring skills and can only make the simplest and most basic equipment. Open black lens bracket civil armor piece, protective components, can provide weak protection. Materials needed. Leather 5, thread 1, sewing box. Close black lens bracket. The material demand is not high, the production is very simple, and the sewing box Ankai as a tool has also been made, which is not a problem. The only problem is the line. Thread can be regarded as one of the most commonly used materials, and many installations require the thread to participate. The most cost-effective material is plant fiber, that is, weeds on the side of the road. As long as the length is sufficient, it can be collected and then twisted into a thread. Further, it can be made into short ropes and long ropes. However, Ankai does not have plant fiber now, so he can only choose another path. Open black lens bracket old clothes, the durability is 93%, and the dirtiness is 10%. Life material is detachable and combustible. Close black lens bracket. Remove. Open black lens bracket rags, life material, detachable and combustible. Close black lens bracket. Disassemble. Open black lens bracket broken thread head, life material, combinable and combustible. Close black lens bracket. Combination. Open black lens bracket line, life material, can be combined and combustible. Close black lens bracket. This is the second method of making a line provided by the system. It's hard to talk about how difficult it is, the only problem is that it consumes too much material. When a piece of clothing is sewn and washed, it can restore its durability and dirtiness and become wearable clothing. But if it is used to dismantle rags, a piece of clothing can be dismantled from 3 to 10 rags according to its size. If the rags continue to be removed, 10 fixed thread breakers can be removed from each of them. Then one thread can be made for every 3 broken thread heads. In other words, if you use clothes to make threads, even if you can take out as many as 10 rags, you will only get 33 threads in the end. But the 33 threads can't make a piece of clothing. Using this method is absolutely blood loss. It's a pity that Ankai didn't have a choice. He needed thread to make the armor piece. He also needed thread to make the second backpack. He also needed rags, so it was inevitable to remove the clothes. At this moment, he was like a grandmother from the village head, holding scissors in one hand, sitting cross-legged on the ground, and holding clothes in the other hand, cutting happily. The process is not complicated, and the progress is fast. After a few minutes, he has prepared all the materials he needs, including leather. The leather was obtained by dismantling the sofa. He saved more than $20 and now uses all of them. Four pieces of armor pieces were put on the jacket, pants and gloves by him. After adding the armor piece to the clothes, you can't see any abnormalities from the outside, but you can feel it with the touch of your hand. There is an extra layer of leather pad inside the clothes, and the originally manufactured armor sheet is only as big as a palm. It is added as a component to the clothes, but the area is expanded to the whole body. The protection of the gloves is on the back of the hand, not only has an extra layer of leather pad, but also an extra layer of iron sheet, and I don't know where the iron sheet came out. As a result, Ankai's defense strength ascension is more than a little bit. In addition, he also repaired all his clothes and made a tennis cap, which can also provide a certain degree of protection. After the iron ingot was smelted out by the furnace, Ankai immediately made it into a machete. Rough machete, melee weapon, durability 100 100, weak lethality. One star, close black lens bracket. The weapons manufactured by the system are divided into stars, with one star being the lowest and five being the highest. According to different materials, it is also divided into several grades such as rough, refined iron, forged steel, alloy, etc. The strength and lethality are also gradually ascension. But with Ankai's current level, you don't need to think about anything. A crude one star is the limit. Fresh water, complete. Protection, complete. Weapons, complete. Tomorrow, set off. The sky was completely dark. And Kai sat on the bed, looking at the pile of things in front of him, there was no fear or cowardice in his eyes, but some were calm and firm. At the door of the apartment, 
and Kai is ready to go. He wears a baseball cap, casual clothes, a backpack behind his back, a machete and a pistol in his waist, and a backpack in his left hand. This is his current full set of equipment, and there is still a big gap from being armed to the teeth, but this is the limit he can achieve at this time. The water was packed in his backpack, and he was seven minutes full before going out, which was just right. Neither will the combat effectiveness be reduced because of hunger, nor will it be unable to run because of eating too much. Before going out, he had one last thing to do. Add skills. I did so many things yesterday, and in the evening I used the remaining materials to reinforce the room again, mainly the position of the window frames and walls. It stands to reason that for the floor where he is, the window frame is completely unnecessary to be reinforced, and the zombies should not be able to climb up. The wall is also, the zombies can't even break the door, let alone the wall. However, Ankai's main purpose is to gain experience. He wants to reinforce the door. Unfortunately, the door has been reinforced before. To re-reinforce it requires higher skills and other materials. He doesn't have these, just can temporarily strengthen the wall. The materials at home were almost used up, and the warehouse was empty. And Kai's level has reached the fifth level smoothly, and he started with two skills. For these two skill points, Ankai added one of them to the sender skill, and the other was temporarily reserved. It will not be too late to add it temporarily when needed. At this point, everything is ready, and Kai took a deep breath, took the machete from his waist, and officially took his first step out of the apartment. Dot dot dot. The sound of artillery fire has weakened a lot than before. It has been unable to connect into a film, but intermittently, sometimes even for several minutes without the sound of guns. I don't know which side won. And Kai hopes that the human side will win, but no one knows this kind of thing. If the human army can win so easily, the battle will not last so long. And Kai walks in a city that has become half a ruin. He had been in the apartment before, and the way to observe the outside was through the windows of his home, his vision was limited, and he couldn't see many things. Now that he walked out and really walked in this city, he realized the ruin of this city firsthand. There was no one on the street, all kinds of rubbish and debris were scattered on the ground. Many buildings on both sides have collapsed. I don't know what happened to make this happen. There are still many scrapped cars on the road. Most of them have been severely deformed. They can be pulled directly to the scrapping plant. A few of them are still intact, and they don't seem to be able to start smoothly. And Kai also found the most complete looking one and tried it on the way, but he couldn't find the car key, and he didn't know how to short circuit the car, so he had to give it up. In addition, the most blood stains on the street. There are blood stains everywhere. On the walls, on the ground, on the car body, on the poles, some of these blood stains have dried up, and some are still slightly fresh, layered on top of each other, layered on top of each other, just like the underworld on Earth. And Kai walked all the way and looked around. When he encountered a shop, he went in and circled around. Unfortunately, most of them have been raided, and the rest are garbage that nobody wants. He and Kai can ask for garbage that others don't want. After all, he has a system, and he can use most of the junk he encounters now. Even if he doesn't use it now, he will definitely be able to use it in the future. It's a pity that his weight is limited, and the biggest purpose of his trip is to find food supplies. If he still has weight on his body when he comes back, he can bring these things back. But for now, let's keep going. This area he is in should be regarded as a residential area. The surrounding buildings are mostly apartment buildings, intermittently interspersed with several office buildings, and there are few shops, and they are very small. Even if they have not been searched by anyone, the harvest is not very good. Unknowingly, he quickened his pace. Since there are no good things in the residential area, he simply went to the commercial area to take a look. Three streets away from the apartment where he was before, is a commercial area, which he had seen upstairs before. The architectural styles of the two sides are different. The commercial area is dominated by high-rise buildings, and the facade of the building is more serious and tidy, giving people a very organized feeling. The level of dilapidation of this place is obviously much less than that of the residential area. Perhaps it is because the buildings here are more robust. After entering the commercial area, there were more shops here, and some shops still maintained a relatively complete appearance without much damage. And Kai thought for a while, 
but didn't rush into those shops that were still well preserved. This world is often so contradictory. Damaged shops indicate that they have been patronized many times, and there are no good things in them, which is a waste of time. As for shops that are not seriously damaged, it is estimated that there will be more good things, but in such a doomsday environment, why haven't they suffered too much damage? This is also a problem. Even if and Kai left the apartment to look for food, Gojiji was still deep in his soul, unwilling to take risks easily. He chose a shop that had been destroyed but not so dilapidated. Looking at the sign, this is a small supermarket and one of his main search targets for this trip. The door of the supermarket has collapsed, and the windows have turned into glass slag all over the floor. Walking on the glass dross, there was a crunching sound from the soles of her feet, and Kai catted slightly to her waist, holding a machete, and carefully watching every corner with her eyes. The shelves in the supermarket are stumbling, and many places are stained with blood, but there are a lot of supplies. This place looks like it hasn't been raided. Although there are no more things on the surface, and Kai still found some things in some relatively hidden corners. Two packs of biscuits were pressed under the counter, and they were severely deformed when they were picked up, and the biscuits inside must have been crushed into crumbs. But as long as it is not broken, it can still be eaten. It doesn't matter if it is broken, it is okay to go back to soak milk. A pack of potato chips, but it's a pity that the packaging bag has been broken. Although the potato chips inside seem to have not deteriorated, and Kai must not dare to eat it. Five and a half packs of instant noodles, half of which should have been eaten by mice, and Kai looked at it and threw it aside with nausea. In addition, there is a pack of nuts, which is well preserved and can be eaten. A box of grapes was crushed into puree, and it must be uneaten. Four lemons, well preserved, take away. There are other miscellaneous foods that cannot be used as staple foods, but they can be eaten with staple foods. In the supermarket, in addition to food, there are also a lot of other drinking water and daily necessities. When drinking water, Ankai found a bottle of carbonated drinks, a large bottle of mineral water, and a full page of yogurt. They are all good things. Take them first. Although there is no shortage of water, these things can be drunk on the road. In terms of daily necessities, he found several toothbrushes and tubes of toothpaste, as well as washing powder, diary, water-based pens and tape. This tape is stationary tape. Although it is also useful, it is obviously not as effective as engineering tape. Finally, Ankai also found two packs of sanitary napkins. This thing is naturally useful. He vaguely remembered that when he was in school, every time he participated in military training, he would buy sanitary napkins as insoles, which would make the soles of his feet more comfortable. Although there is no military training now, but the level of fatigue after a day is still higher than that of military training, sanitary napkins are obviously a good choice. In short, whether it is useful or not, as long as you find it, put it away first. There is a warehouse behind the small supermarket. The warehouse door is intact. And Kai is overjoyed and hurried forward. He leaned on the door and listened. After making sure that there was no movement inside, he opened the warehouse door. As a result, he was dumbfounded after pushing the door open. It turned out that the wall of the warehouse's back door had collapsed, and the contents had been swept away long ago. Only one front door was considered complete. What is this, is it not the power of the chieftain? And Kai didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Of course, he just thinks about it casually. This kind of thing obviously has nothing to do with the emperor. He just came a few steps late and was first boarded by others. After closing the door, and Kai passed it one last time, and after confirming that there was nothing of value, he immediately left the small supermarket and walked to the next grocery store. Grocery store is a relatively old term for Ankai. The last time I entered this place, I was in the small county of my hometown earlier. Since moving to the big city with his grandparents at the age of 12, he has never seen a real grocery store. Grocery shops are actually small shops. They are relatively rare in big cities. At most, they can occasionally exist in small alleys. Nowadays, large cities are full of large and small supermarkets, which have long replaced grocery shops, status. But in this commercial area, there are still shops facing the street, and they can actually see a grocery store, which surprised and Kai. He observed briefly outside the door, and made sure that what he saw was not dangerous, and then he opened the door and entered. The situation here is slightly better than the next door. 
Although the floor is full of garbage, at least the surrounding shelves have not collapsed. Compared to supermarkets, the types of goods here are more complicated. For example, candles that are generally not sold in small supermarkets, Enkai found a small box of brand new ones here, and the boxes are almost undamaged. I don't know how the survivors who visited here in front find them. Candles are all important things. I can miss it. But fortunately the people in front of them missed it, and now they are all cheaper in Ankai. Now the urban area has all power outages, and nothing can be seen in the dark at night. And even if there is electricity, Ankai does not dare to turn on the lights. The lights are too eye-catching in the dark environment, and they might attract zombies. Even if the zombies didn't notice, did the other survivors notice? Don't think that the survivors are just kissing Maymay's family. In fact, the more the current environment, the more fierce and cruel competition among survivors. Materials are gradually scarce. When people are hungry, it is not difficult to kill for a piece of bread. The candle is different. The candle light can illuminate, but it is not as dazzling as the light. As long as you cover it a little, you don't have to worry that people outside will find yourself. And Kai happily put the candle away, screaming good luck. In fact, he knew well that this was the effect of the scavenger skill. Scavengers level 1, your eyes become sharper, your ears become more sensitive, you can always find things that are difficult for others to find, a small amount of ascension search results. Close black lens bracket. This is a decision he made after thinking about it. What is the purpose of his going out this time, isn't it just to find more supplies? If it wasn't for insufficient food, he wouldn't risk leaving the apartment now. Now that it is out, you have to search it all at once. At this time, a skill that can ascension his search ability is very important. When he was in the supermarket next door, he found all the things he found from various corners. This skill gave him a special inspiration. In a messy place, he can roughly judge where there are supplies at a glance. Although the skill level is low, a large part of these judgments are wrong. But even so, this skill has brought him a good harvest. Even now, as soon as he entered the door, he felt that there seemed to be something in the pair of waste paper bins on the left-hand side. I can't tell the reason, it just feels so. And this pile of waste paper boxes were left here after being searched for by other survivors. There should be nothing left. However, he found a whole box of candles inside. How could this make sense? If the previous survivors knew about it, I guess they would be so sad that they would cry. Looking around, and Kai captured several places. They are all places that seem to be of little value, but he always feels that there should be something there. But before he officially started rummaging, he had one more thing to do, and that was to make sure that there were no zombies in this grocery store. This is very important, as it is said that Ankai was attacked by a zombie once when he was bitten by a snake for 10 years and feared the rope. He fantasized more than once, if he reacted slowly at the time, what would it be to wait for own? Was it killed on the spot? Or was it infected a little bit after escaping, and turned into a zombie in the end? He didn't want to choose either, so he was very lucky that he killed the zombie at the time. Because of such a special experience, he will be more careful no matter what he does now. Only after he is sure that there are no zombies will he officially start searching. After checking the grocery store inside and out, and even listening to it with her ears on the floor for a while, and Kai smiled. No problem, there are indeed no zombies here. Start searching. And Kai tugged at own gloves, full of energy. Start on the first floor. After entering the door on the first floor, there is a long counter on the left-hand side with retro-style furniture. The doors of the cabinet have all been removed, and there is a big hole in the countertop. No one will think that there is anything else here. But this kind of thinking is wrong. And Kai went to the inside of the counter, reached out and fumbled under the countertop, and finally found an oil paper bag in the outer corner. The oil paper bag is black and very small, only the size of a slab. It was also taped to the darkest corner of the bottom of the countertop. Not to mention looking at it with eyes, even if you lie on the ground and get under the table, you can't find it if you don't look for it carefully. That is to say, and Kai has the skill of scavengers, and the skill told him that there might be something underneath, so he tried to check it, and kept a bit more heart, and as a result, he found such an oil paper bag that no one had discovered. He didn't rush to open it, but put it in his backpack first, and quickly searched for other places. 
in the crevices of the cabinet, in the depths of the garbage dump, under the stones, above the ceiling. And Kai searched all possible places according to the tips of the skills, and finally found a lot of good things. There are only 15 pieces of edible jerky, and each piece is the size of an adult's palm. I don't know what's wrong with the grocery store owner. Why does he like to hide what he eats? In addition, he also found a lock picking tool, which is rare, and most people would keep this thing at home. Ordinary people just can't buy it. It can only be said that he is the owner of the grocery store, and the road is wild. The system can also make a lock picking tool, but you need to unlock the thief skills in the perception bar, and the ascension can be unlocked at the third level. The manufacturing is also very troublesome. The material is steel ingots and the steps are more complicated. Naturally, Ankai can't do it. So it's a good thing for him to find one, at least he doesn't need to kick or pry the door in the future. And Kai also found a sawed-out double-barrel shotgun in the bedroom. Unfortunately, no bullets were found, and this gun was temporarily unusable, so he had to store it first. Other things are not so important, they are all small and miscellaneous objects, which are not very useful, but there is better than nothing. After a search, the grocery store has gained far more than expected, which makes Ankai very happy. He returned to the counter with all his belongings and sat on the floor. He had seen all the other things, except for the greased paper bag under the counter. With excitement, Ankai slowly opened the oil paper bag, and a few pieces of paper fell out of it. This is, Ankai picked up a piece of paper suspiciously. Take a closer look, this is a real estate certificate with an address written on it, and the owner's name is Omar. But Ankai did not know who this person was, nor did he know the address on the real estate certificate. There are also two papers and a key. One of the pieces of paper is a photo. The photo shows a house with a red spire. There are many trees around the house. There is a small church on the left and a coffee bar on the right. If nothing else, it should be the same as the address on the property certificate. The same place. The last piece of paper, densely printed with various lines, is a picture of the house structure. But what is the use of this thing? And Kai was confused, and after looking carefully for a long time, he finally discovered the secret inside. In the original picture, a room on the second floor of the house was remodeled. By changing the thickness of the wall, a secret room was created. What is this, treasure map? And Kai came interested. He went to read the real estate certificate again, and the address on it was, 353 Lakeside Avenue. I just don't know where the address is. If it's not far from here, he can go and have a look. If it's too far, or if it's in another city at all, it's troublesome. Streets like Lakeside Avenue are just like Gonganong Road on Yingbin Street and Hongqi Street in the Tian Dynasty. Almost every city will have a street with this name. If you look for it aimlessly, you can only find it in the year of the monkey. Although there is a photo in the oil paper bag, it is not much better with just one photo. There is also a key attached to the paper bag, which should be the key of number. 353 Lakeside Avenue. Whether it's useful or not, put it away together first. Looking at the backpack again, the one on his back is actually full. Although there is still room for weight, the grid is already full. I didn't expect it, just the two stores have already had such a harvest. As expected, I still have to come out. Zio, it's so fragrant. And Kai sighed with emotion, stood up, patted his butt, and was about to leave the grocery store. But at this moment, there was a creaking sound from the door, and he subconsciously turned his head to look, just in time to see a pair of eyes staring at him in amazement. Four eyes facing each other. The atmosphere was very embarrassing. In the next second, the two of them moved at the same time as if they had been turned on a certain switch in their bodies. And Kai thought, and the pistol immediately appeared in his right hand. This is also one of the places where the system beeps. It's like setting a shortcut key. Just put the weapon on the equipment position designated by the system, and you can put it anywhere on your body when you don't use it. It can be placed around the waist or in a backpack. As long as you think about it in your heart when you need it, the weapon will appear in your hand instantly. Of course, this operation is limited to the equipment in the equipment position. If he is equipped with a rifle, because the rifle needs to be equipped with both hands, he can only take out a rifle instantly when he wants to use it. If he wants to use other weapons, he can only take it out of his backpack. 
but even so, the help of the system is too much convenient. However, he was not slow to draw his gun, and the survivor on the opposite side was faster. The moment he took out the pistol, the other party had already provoked in place like a cheetah and rushed over. When Nkai raised the gun, the other party had already jumped onto the counter, sliding on the counter, and rushed in front of Nkai in an instant. Before he could shoot, the other party had already threw him to the ground, and at the same time a pointed object pressed against his throat. This is a knife-like weapon made of a piece of iron. It's crude, but Nkai doesn't doubt the sharpness of this thing at all. Don't move. The other party spoke, and his voice was slightly hoarse, but Nkai could still hear that the other party was a girl and was not too old. You should be the one who doesn't move. Nkai didn't mean to pity Shangxiu. When the opponent threw him to the ground, his muzzle was aimed at the opponent's chest. He can easily kill the opponent with a light movement of his finger. The two suddenly stalemate. Nkai even has a lingering rhyme to observe each other. The girl's face was painted gray, and she couldn't see how she looked. He was wearing a dirty torn cloak, which wrapped his whole body. There was a foul smell from her body, and it was obvious that she hadn't taken a shower for a long time. There are no water cuts in the urban area, but the other party does not even take a bath. There are only two possibilities. Either the other party is too bad, Rui Scepter, he doesn't even have a place to stay temporarily. But this is unlikely. The city is now empty. If you want to take a bath, there are places where you can do it. Therefore, the appearance of the other party is likely to be a protective color, using the gray on his face, rags and stench to disguise himself. After about 10 seconds, the girl took the lead to put away the weapon. I am not malicious, she said, stood up, and under the aim of Ankai's muzzle, raised her hands and walked back slowly, and retreated to a corner not far away. I didn't see this, Ankai said, holding the gun in one hand and standing up from the ground. He kept the aiming posture, and backed up, and then exited the counter before stopping. The two sides once again used the counter as the dividing line, but this time Nkai was prepared, no matter how good the girl's physical fitness is, don't even think about attacking him. I just saw you suddenly and reacted subconsciously. This city has become the underworld. It's okay to be careful, I think you should understand. The girl stared at him tightly and said slowly. Her eyes are very clean, like two black gems. Nkai is noncommittal. After all, he has only traveled for a short time and has never seen other people. Although he was prepared for some things in his heart, he still remained slightly skeptical even 1% before seeing it with his own eyes. But he is not stupid enough to refute the other party, which is meaningless. I ask you a few questions, I hope you can answer them truthfully. You decide. The girl shrugged, and simply put away the, knife. Seeing her look like this, and Kai didn't know whether to laugh or cry, is this reassuring to him? Or is it ready to break the jar? But he did not put away his weapons. There may be some losing face in this way, but life is more important than face. The contact between the electric light and flint just now made him see the gap between himself and the girl. If this girl were to be placed in the world of his original life, she would be a gold medalist in the youth games. Her physical fitness is so good, she spans a distance of several meters in an instant, and her explosiveness and flexibility are amazing. On the other hand, he clearly had a system, but he was almost subdued by the other party. If it hadn't had a small pistol, the current situation would have to be changed. In close combat, ten of him might not add up to this girl's opponent. Although I don't know how the other party has achieved this ability, and Kai still doesn't want to fall into crisis again. I want to know how long this situation has been going on now. And Kai asked, quote dot 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 quote. The girl looked at him suspiciously, as if looking at the fool. And Kai was a little embarrassed and couldn't help clearing his throat, I had been sick before, and I had to sleep for a long time every day, and my head was dizzy when I woke up, and I didn't know much about the outside world. It's a lie anyway, just find any reason. He said that for the time being, he doesn't care if the girl believes it or not. It has been three months, about three and a half months ago, Almond in the South first developed symptoms. In less than half a month, the virus spread to all corners of the Federation. The infected will be upgraded in half a month, turned into a half-dead monster. Are you sure it is a virus? And Kai asked subconsciously. That's what it says on TV. The girl replied. 
Well, the second question is, how many survivors are there in this city? You don't need an exact number, you just say what you know. 128, including you. So little. And Kai was a little surprised. But he reacted in the next second. What he asked was how much the girl knew, and there must be many survivors where the girl did not know. The third question, do you usually communicate? How do you communicate? If it is a transaction, what process is required and what is the most valuable thing? This is also an issue that Ankai pays more attention to. This problem is much more normal than those before. Survivors rarely communicate with each other. Everyone can't trust anyone. However, there are people who can gain the trust of most people. If you want to trade supplies, you can go to the Kellyan building in the north of the city, where there is a large survivor's camp. There are more than 50 people gathered and they have many weapons. They are regarded as the best known exchanges around, and almost all the survivors around will go there to trade. The transaction does not require any process, just confirm that you are not infected with the virus, you can enter the camp. There are many valuable things, such as medicines, firearms, ammunition, food, and alcohol. But the most valuable things are food and cigarettes. These two things are hard currency in the camp. You can even use cigarettes for rifles. Quote, the girl looked at Ankai and replied slowly. I can understand food, and cigarettes are too. It paralyzes own nerves. Many people cannot bear the pressure of the destruction of the world. They need cigarettes to relieve their own spirit. And smoking is also good. When the spirit is relieved, you can eat and drink well and maintain your physical fitness. At a certain level, it will not be easy to be infected. The girl explained. And Kai just came across. Last question, what about your name and your family? After all, and Kai is not the kind of hard-hearted person. Seeing the girl's cooperation, he couldn't help but feel soft-hearted, and subconsciously asked one more question. I don't have a name, my family is dead, are you satisfied with this answer? But the girl's attitude changed drastically, and she came back coldly. And Kai knew immediately that he had asked the wrong question. With a dry laugh, he stepped back a few steps, returning to the door of the grocery store before stopping. Putting down the muzzle he had been holding, and Kai took out two pieces of beef jerky from the backpack in his left hand. I didn't know that this problem is so serious for you. As compensation, I will give you these two pieces of jerky. If you are not at ease, you can also trade it for food you can rest assured. In addition, don't follow me, otherwise I won't be so good to talk next time. And Kai put the jerky on a relatively clean waste paper box, put a cruel remark by the way, and then faced the girl and quit the grocery store in one go. Through the window, he could clearly see that the girl was still staring at him. But now the distance is so far, even if the girl chases out, he can deal with it calmly. Mary, my name, my family are indeed dead. The girl's voice came from behind, and Ankai's mouth was slightly tilted. Although there were some twists and turns in the process, the first communication with local survivors was generally smooth. I don't know if it is the threat of a pistol. The girl talks better than he thought. Although he only angered the girl not long ago, he didn't mean it. He also knew the information he wanted. Zombies were upgraded through virus infection. As for the method of infection, he didn't ask, it was just through air, saliva, or blood. All he can do is try to avoid getting bitten by zombies, nothing more. As for the survivor camp in the north, you can visit it if you have the opportunity. After walking for a while, confirming that the girl did not follow him, and Kai immediately changed direction and walked towards another commercial district that he had seen before. There are several big shopping malls, and you should be able to find a lot of good things. At the same time, and Kai has also increased his vigilance, holding the pistol in his hand all the time. Girls are good at talking, but it doesn't mean that others are good at talking, and the ghost knows whether the next survivor has firearms, so he has to be ready to shoot at any time. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. Chapter 11 The target commercial area is not far from Ankai's apartment. If the map is unfolded and marked on it, the apartment, the grocery store, and the place where he is going now can be connected to form an approximately equilateral triangle. The so-called commercial area is actually a small business district composed of several large shopping malls, surrounded by residential buildings, with a relatively high population density. It can be imagined that before the end of the day, this place is full of people every day. 
It's just that all of this has now drifted away with the wind. If the zombies are not removed for a day, it will be difficult for human society to recover. And Kai held a pistol and moved against the root of the wall on the side of the road. He didn't dare to walk directly on the street violently, wouldn't he be a target for others? Knowing that this is the end of the world, it is normal to kill people and overwhelm them, and don't expect the police uncle to help him avenge and catch the murderer. The police here are probably mostly zombies and they are overwhelmed by themselves. Ankai chose a mall closer to him as the first search point. He entered from the back door of the mall and checked the back area on the first floor. After confirming that there were no zombies, he walked around to the front area and stood in front of the guide sign on the floor in front of the escalator. This is a comprehensive shopping mall. The first floor is mainly for all kinds of small commodities, the second floor is men's clothing and children's clothing, the third floor is women's clothing, the fourth floor is snacks, milk tea and children's playground, and the fifth floor is a variety of dinner, food, and movie theaters. This layout is almost the same as the mall in my hometown. Don't look at the first floor, this kind of place is the most frequent place for survivors. In fact, after coming in from the back door, and Kai has been along the way, and the skill of scavengers has reminded him many times. He also searched along the way, and the result may be that the European Emperor's energy has dissipated, and now that he has left the European Union and entered Africa, he has not found any points for a few points. And Kai also deepened his understanding of this skill. The scavengers just provide him with an inspiration. There may be supplies in a certain place. This is the experience of a garbage man. But in fact, it's hard to say whether there is anything in that place, maybe there is, maybe not, it all depends on luck. And Kai is not very lucky now. He obviously has the skills to help, but he has not gained the slightest gain. It can only be said that the place is really licked too clean, and there are no root hairs left. But are there any supplies in this place? There must be. As far as and Kai went all the way, there must be supplies remaining, but it is a pity that his skill level is not enough, and he can't judge the more secret places. He can find it on his own without relying on skills, as long as he has enough experience and a little luck on his own. But the question is, if he has such a wealth of experience, why bother to add some skills? The first floor was directly skipped by Nkai, there is no need to search here. He went straight to the fourth floor. Yes, the second and third floors are too lazy to turn over. These two floors were originally selling clothes, even if you can find anything, it is definitely some tattered clothes and socks that no one wants. You can take it back to tear up the rags, but Nkai has a limited load. The purpose of his trip is food, and the rags can be discussed later. On the fourth floor is a snack milk tea and a children's playground. There is no need to look at the children's playground. It is estimated that some building materials and life materials are found inside. The area of the shopping mall is not small. The snack milk tea area occupies more than half of the area on the fourth floor. Looking around, there are various stalls and shelves. Because there is no electricity and no lights, Ankai can only use the natural light projected from the windows to distinguish the surrounding objects. Every step he took was very careful, trying not to make a sound, after all, no one knew whether there were zombies and other survivors here. This is different from an apartment, there is no room, he can't lie on the door to listen to the sound. If you encounter a zombie, there is no obstacle that can completely block it, so be careful and careful. And Kai puts most of his attention on his eyes and ears, trying to catch all kinds of changes around him as much as possible, so as not to fall into crisis. Fortunately, his luck in this area was really good, and he went around cautiously without finding any zombies or other survivors. So he started a happy search trip. As a hypermarket, the materials in this place are too rich. And unlike the houses, the bosses who do business here probably don't have time to come and pack their things. When the doomsday comes, it is good for them to run out on their own, so a lot of things are abandoned. Even though it has been searched for many times before, and Kai still found a lot of food in the corner of the corner. It can be called a bumper harvest of food. With the vacuum-packed sausages alone, he found three full bags, a total of 60 pieces, each of which was as thick as his two fingers together and more than 10 centimeters in length. The weight of each stick is about 150 grams, and 60 sticks are 9,000 grams, which is about 18 caddies. Even if Ankai eats only sausages for a while, it is enough for him to eat for a week. 
This is only part of the harvest, bread, salad dressing, milk tea bags, various semi-finished foods. And Kai searched for about half an hour and then stopped. It's not that he doesn't want to find it, but that he can't get it anymore. There are too many things. Are the people in front of them blind? So many things have been left here. However, the weight of his backpack has reached its limit, and the backpack in his left hand is about to be full. He has even thrown away many small things he found in the grocery store. If you install it again, you really won't be able to mention it. Originally, Ankai's plan was to go out for at least three days, but the harvest on the first day was so great that he had to embark on the return journey. What does it mean that the plan cannot keep up with the changes? In fact, if you can find a suitable vehicle, it is the best. With a vehicle, you can load more things. It's a pity that all the cars he encountered along the way were unusable ones. Either it had been damaged so badly, or the battery was losing power, and he couldn't catch fire after many attempts. Without a vehicle, the materials of the two backpacks are his current limit. Even though there is a lot of reluctance in her heart, the reality is the most helpless. And Kai can only leave the mall with tears at the corner of her mouth and walk towards the apartment. Some of the things that could not be picked up were put back in place by Ankai, and some he simply didn't take them out. Anyway, the survivors before could not find these things, and the later ones are probably choking. Put it here first, he can wait until tomorrow, or wait until he is short of food. As for whether these things will expire, please, people are starving to death, what's wrong with eating some expired food? Besides, the four-board bread that Ankai found now is obviously stored for more than three months. The bread is as hard as a stone, but it hasn't deteriorated. Can you believe it? How many preservatives are in it? Ankai is unwilling to think about this issue, anyway, as long as he can still eat, it is not the time to pursue the quality of life. All the way back to the apartment without surprises. After closing the door, it was already pitch black outside. At the last distance, the one and Kai walked was very frightening, for fear that a zombie would come out from which corner to throw him down. Without street lights and surrounding building lights, he can only see a place less than 10 meters in front of him. He can basically not predict what dangers there really will be. Fortunately, his worries did not become reality. The home was still exactly the same as when he left, and the two simple organs that were quietly put down did not appear to be destroyed. He closed the curtains and lit a candle, and the dim lights relieved him a lot. Start to organize the harvest. Needless to say, bread and sausages, salad dressing, mayonnaise, black pepper sauce and other condiments, he found a total of five bottles, about the size of a drink bottle. Except for one bottle of salad dressing that has been opened, less than half is left, and the remaining four bottles are all full. These seasonings are actually quite heavy, but the taste buds need to be stimulated. I can't bear eating white bread all day long. In addition, Ankai also found six canned meat, three canned beans, and a particularly large canned fruit. They are all aluminum cans, sealed in packaging, not afraid of bumps, and well preserved. In addition, he found two bottles of red wine in a stall similar to Tapanyaki. He himself can't tell whether the wine is good or bad, let alone Otherworld's wine, even if it's the red wine on the earth. He also knows a famous brand such as La Fight Great Wall Chengyu. As for whether it's good or not, he just I don't understand at all. Because he doesn't like to drink red wine. But now he has no choice, and he will bring it back when he meets it. As for whether to drink it by himself, or take it out for a trade, or use it for other purposes, then wait until the time comes. All in all, I went out for a whole day today and went home in the dark at night, which was very different from the original plan, but the reward was full. It cannot be said that the food crisis was solved in one fell swoop, but if you save food, eating for a month is not a problem. And don't forget, he still has the supplies he found in the grocery store and the small supermarket before, not to mention, the beef jerky alone will be enough for him to eat for a while. The remaining skill points on the body are useless. It doesn't matter, it's a big deal. It needs a lot of skill points to upgrade the wisdom bar. Isn't it good to accumulate skill points to climb the technology tree? So people still have to go out, go out to reap the rewards, what can you do if you stay at home all day long? And Kai talks to himself very surely. The food crisis is temporarily lifted, and then it is time to vigorously develop the manufacturing industry. 
he wants to climb the own technology tree as soon as possible. It is best to make his own guns. At that time, he will truly have the confidence to go out instead of relying on the only small pistol and five bullets in his hand. Bold. Climbing the tree of science and technology is a very troublesome thing, but in order to make oneself better in the doomsday life, Ankai is happy. Now that he still has one skill point left, after thinking about it, he added wisdom third level first. Wisdom must be filled up, and he doesn't want to miss any of the subsequent creations. Since you have to add it sooner or later, and now you have skill points in your hand, you can simply use it up. Anyway, he will break through again soon. After a day's search, he not only has a good harvest of food, but also has a lot of experience. There is also experience in searching out. The farther you go, the more dangerous you experience and the more supplies you get, the richer your experience will be. And with Ascension's intelligence level, the experience gained from crafting can also get a bonus. It was 10% at the first level, 25% at the second level, and now at the third level, the experience bonus has reached 50%. Although the higher the level, the more experience you need, but the more experience you get. No loss. After adding some points, and Kai looked at the newspaper for a while with the help of the candle light. He didn't get any experience buff, and he didn't care much. This thing is purely something you can meet but not ask for, because you don't know which book or which newspaper you see when the system will give you a permanent buff. Buff while reading is not advisable. Think of reading as a kind of leisure, and getting buff in this process makes it even more fun to double happiness. When the candle was half burning, and Kai felt a little sleepy, and then he blew it out. Scorpion walks around during the day, and stays up at night to fill up the crotch. It's me, right. He complained to himself, took off his clothes and got into the bed. Only then did he realize that the sound of gunfire outside had disappeared somehow. I'm used to listening to the explosion every day when I go to bed. The disappearance of the explosion is not good news or bad news. It may be that the human army has won, it may be that the human army has been wiped out, or it may be that the two sides have temporarily ceased the war, and we will see it again tomorrow, hoping to get good news at that time. With such thoughts in mind, and Kai gradually fell asleep. Dot dot dot. A warning to all citizens. ZZ. Our war against zombies. Phased victory. ZZ. We regained the entire territory of Enlai province. A full victory is just around the corner. ZZ. Please stay alive. Citizens relax. Soon after, we will re-establish order. It is still a broadcast full of noise. However, Ankai's face did not see the slightest joy. He stood in front of the window and looked at the zombies walking in groups on the street below, and he had no hope for the politicians of this world in his heart. The human army has failed. Just last night, when the last gunfire disappeared, the city officially lost hope. In the group of zombies, you can also see figures in yellow military uniforms. These soldiers who have been scratched and bitten by the zombies join the ranks of the zombies. Such zombies are undoubtedly more difficult to deal with, although they have lost their minds and can no longer use firearms. But the military uniforms on them provide them with a stronger defense than ordinary zombies, and the physical fitness of soldiers is generally much stronger than ordinary people. After ordinary people become zombies, they still have the physical qualities of athletes. One can imagine how terrifying these soldiers will be when they become zombies. And Kai couldn't help but feel a little grateful. Fortunately, he found enough food yesterday and returned to the apartment before the end of the battle. Otherwise, he will be jammed in the street by a group of zombies today, and his life or death may be unclear at that time. Pop, pop, pop. There was a fierce gunshot in the distance, and Ankai looked in the direction where the gunshot came from. At an intersection two to three hundred meters away, several figures were faintly moving, and they kept firing to wipe out the zombies that surrounded them. However, there were too many zombies around. The gunshots attracted the zombies further away. From Ankai's perspective, you can clearly see that the surrounding zombies are like wild dogs that have heard of carrion, going crazy. Several people rushed. The encirclement quickly shrank, but within 10 seconds, a few people were obliterated by the zombies. And Kai can vaguely hear the screams from the zombies, but he only has a small pistol, and he can't save these people. Turning around, and Kai no longer looks at the situation outside the window. This is just the beginning. 
With the return of the zombies, the survivors in the city will definitely suffer a devastating blow, and no one knows how many people can survive. At this moment, and Kai thought of a pair of clean eyes. Mary, the local survivor who wanted to attack himself, but ended up in peace. She is definitely not very old, and she is estimated to be no more than 20 years old by listening to the voice. Less than 20 years old, young people on the earth who are less than 20 years old are still immersed in the ivory tower to enjoy the beautiful youth, and this world has become the underworld. And Kai is a little worried about Mary's safety, but then I think about what qualifications I have. I don't want to say that others have nothing to do with me, so I will say that I am still in danger. When will I really have the power to protect myself, then consider other things? People. And Kai patted her cheek, and An Kai cheered herself up. Carrying tools such as hammers, saws and crowbars, and Kai went out. Now that he is ready to start climbing the tree of science and technology, it means that he has to carry out a wave of large-scale manufacturing, and the materials needed will be massive. Fortunately, there is no shortage of life materials and building materials in the apartment. He can dismantle doors, windows, walls, and everything. It's just that now that the zombie has returned, he needs a large and safe space to move around. Blocking the door is a good choice. And Kai came to the fourth floor as quickly as possible, but the zombies had not yet come up. He listened carefully and vaguely heard the sound of zombies through the stairwell. Obviously, zombies had entered the apartment building. But zombies are obviously not good at climbing stairs, and if there is nothing to attract, the speed of climbing stairs will be even slower if zombies wander aimlessly. This is Ankai's opportunity. He immediately came to the end of the fourth floor, picked a room with a lot of furniture, and started the demolition work. Even if the system is used to disassemble the furniture, it will make a certain amount of noise, but the advantage is that the disassembly speed is fast, does not consume much Ankai's physical strength, and the noise is constant, and there will be no such operation errors that cause a lot of noise. Thirty pieces of wood were taken out in one breath, and Kai put them into the backpack, and he put the unloaded pieces on his shoulders. Bring the wood to the stairway on the fourth floor and put it down, Ankai turns on the system and selects the construction project. Open black lens bracket wooden door, building, detachable, strengthenable and combustible. Materials needed. Wood 10, nails 5, metal hinges 1. Close black lens bracket. There were nails, and he took them with them when he got down. Metal hinges can be obtained by dismantling the door, or you can make your own, using scrap metal. After selecting the target, and Kai's vision suddenly ascending, turning into God's perspective. He can even see the top of On's head. Manipulating with mind, place the door on the third and a half floor, his eyes returned, and an illusory door appeared in front of Ankai. He immediately chose to manufacture. The wood on the ground and the nail hinges in the backpack flew out, quickly flying into the phantom of the entrance. The material disappeared, and the wooden door became real at a speed visible to the naked eye. Within ten seconds, the manufacturing was over, and a very ordinary wooden door was firmly installed in the stairwell. But this is not over yet. The reason why Ankai collected 30 pieces of wood is naturally purposeful. Turned on the system, selected the beveled wooden wall, gestured to the stair railing, and quickly aligned the position. Bevel wooden wall, construction, detachable, strengthenable and combustible. Material needed. Wood 10. Close black lens bracket. Manufacture. No nails and hinges were used this time. The same process, the same time. 10 seconds later, the space above the handrail of the stairs was also blocked by a wooden wall. Then there is a little space above the wooden door. Since it is necessary to do it, Ankai chooses to directly manufacture the wooden wall. The consumables are the same as the beveled wall, and the last space is also blocked. But this will not reassure Ankai, he has to reinforce these wooden walls and doors. So he turned and continued to tear down the furniture, and soon returned with 30 pieces of wood. Reinforcement Wood can be used to reinforce the target, ascension building strength. Close black lens bracket. Because it is the first reinforcement, only five pieces of wood are needed. After a while of clanging, the wooden doors and wooden walls were obviously thicker, and even the stair railings were covered with a layer of wooden planks. Twenty pieces of wood are consumed, but it's okay. If you take too much, you can use it right away. Reinforcing only once obviously does not meet the needs of Ankai. Continue. 
and Kai carried the tools and continued to dismantle the materials. For the second reinforcement, 10 pieces of wood are needed. For a total of 4 places that need reinforcement, 40 pieces of wood are needed. Counting the remaining ones, and Kai still had to take 30 more pieces of wood. He has already emptied two rooms, and is now in the process of tearing down the third one. The furniture in the third room was not too much, and even the door was removed together. It was still a bit worse, and Kai directly demolished the fourth room in half to save enough materials. The time for the second reinforcement is relatively slow, requiring a full 20 seconds. He has no architect skills, so he can't cut time in consumables, and can only wait 20 seconds. In this process, after several clanging constructions, some zombies have been attracted and are slowly climbing up. Fortunately, the reinforcement work is almost complete. After a minute and a half, 40 pieces of wood have also been added, which is the limit that Ankai can do now. Looking at the completely blocked stairwell with no gaps, and listening for a while, after confirming that the zombie hadn't climbed up, and Kai nodded in satisfaction. The durability of the hammer and hand saw in his hand fell to zero, turned into fragments, and disappeared into the air. At the same time, beautiful music sounded in his ears. He broke through again. I have to say that the wisdom bar is really powerful. The third level wisdom can be acquired with 50% of the experience of ascension, and it is enjoyable to think about it. In contrast, the battle route is obviously very troublesome, and the general outline level must be added, and the following skills must be added. Not to mention many skill points. If you want combat effectiveness to take shape quickly, you will inevitably have to fight with the zombies. Perhaps some people would prefer this kind of blood and the excitement of fighting, but Ankai is not that kind of person, he prefers wretched development than rushing to fight. Isn't it fragrant to brush up the level and directly rely on the level and various weapons to crush it? He gave the new skill points to Engineer. Engineer 2 level. It can effectively reduce the time you need to manufacture items, effectively reduce the materials consumed during manufacturing, and have a smaller chance of ascension manufacturing quality. Unlock, drying table, leatherworking table, crude water purifier, textile device, leather armor, iron armor, some types of ammunition, second level tools. Close black lens bracket. The drying table is used to air dry all kinds of food, and the air dried food will last longer. Using the system's drying table, it can realize automatic turning and drying, without him having to operate it himself, just put the meat or vegetables on it and sit and watch the drying. It saves him a lot of things invisibly, and there is no need to worry about neglecting the drying. Manage food spoilage. In addition, the food produced through this drying table can also provide certain attribute bonuses, such as higher satiety, such as longer shelf life. The tanning table is used to tan leather and ascension leather quality. If Ankai goes hunting, the leather of the prey can be tanned by this machine. If he finds other leathers, such as those removed from the sofa, he can put them on the ascension quality, so that the original low-level leather becomes high-level. If the equipment is made, it can provide better attributes and higher ascension level ones, probability. The last one can be ignored. When the level of intelligence is not high, the probability can be said to be very small, and there is basically no need to look forward to it. Crude water purifiers are more important. With the defeat of the human army outside the city, the city can basically declare its isolation and helplessness. I believe it will be cut off soon, and drinking water will be a problem at that time. At this time, there can be a water purifier, and its value, needless to say, is also very high. The weaving machine is used to weave cloth. Before Ankai removed the clothes, the thread breaks at the end. If you push backwards, you can only push to the thread step, and then push the weaving upwards and you can't do it. Making a piece of clothing from scratch is a fantasy, unless he stops at the rag. But after unlocking the spinner, this problem no longer exists. Both leather armor and iron armor belong to the category of equipment. Before, Ankai could only make cloth armor. To put it bluntly, he could only make clothes. Clothes are also protective, but they are very weak. Even with the addition of armor pieces, the defense is still not enough. Leather armor is different from iron armor. The former has higher defensive power than cloth armor and slightly lower than iron armor, but it is very light, and with the addition of armor pieces, it is enough. In the latter case, it is not the medieval iron pot armor, or the scale armor covered with iron flakes. 
The so-called iron armor of the system is an upgraded version of leather armor. Iron protection is added to some of the more important body parts. The leather armor is used as the base to produce a better defense with partial iron cover. Armor. The defense is very strong, but the weight is also very good. It belongs to the kind used by people who are not strong enough. But none of these things are the most important. What Ankai really values is actually the next item. Some types of ammunition. This statement is very interesting, there is no clear definition, and the term is ammunition rather than bullet. But Ankai knows what it means. After all, he has a wealth of gaming experience. The so-called partial types of ammunition mainly refer to small caliber bullets and arrows, cobblestones, and so on. For example, 9mm bullets, such as 11.43mm bullets, most pistol bullets fall into this category. In addition, such as the Uzi submachine gun, the bullets used also belong to this category. Needless to say about arrows, bows and arrows are also very useful long-range weapons. As for cobblestones, this actually belongs to the category of throwing weapons. Engineers have slings to make when they are first-level engineers. There are very few consumables for this thing, and you can make it with a piece of rag or leather. But this thing is very difficult to master, bullets are not easy to find, it is best to use the kind of round little stones. Because the surface of such a stone is rounded, it will not change its trajectory after being affected by air resistance. You can grind it by your own hand, and it is more convenient to use the system to make it. But it is a pity that Ankai can only let him be put into the warehouse. Anyway, he will not learn something to sling. How good is it to have more upgrades and unlock more weapons? The engineer unlocks firearms and crossbows at the third level. Then he can make machine tools and then produce firearms, so he doesn't care about anything. Needless to say, second level tools are easier to use, faster to remove things, and more durable. The above is most of the benefits brought by second level engineers. Although only the first level is promoted, ascension is very large. In terms of water, protection and weapons, three aspects have been ascension. In the future, Ankai will no longer have to worry about the bullet problem. The small pistol in his hand uses 11.43 mm bullets. He can now make his own self-made, and the system must be a high-quality product, so there is no need to worry about bad bullets. At present, the only restriction to him is the bullet material. The bullet's bullet head and shell can be made of two materials, lead and copper. However, these two materials are not easy to find. He searched the entire apartment building. Two units of lead and three units of copper were found. Of course, if he is willing to continue to demolish the house and remove the pipes in the building, he can probably collect a lot of materials. Another very important material is gunpowder. However, Ankai currently does not have any ignition powder, and making gunpowder through the system still requires the skills of chemist. In short, there is a long way to go, and the bullet material can only be worked out slowly. Once the new item is unlocked, it will naturally be assembled immediately. Put the bullet aside first, and the armor is not in a hurry. The first made by Ankai is definitely a crude water purifier. Open black lens bracket rough water purifier, construction, can be used to purify dirty water. Construction materials. Wood 5, stone 5, rag 3, bucket 1. Close black lens bracket. Shen special architecture. Ankai relentlessly vomit. He has all these things, including buckets, and they have already found them in the apartment. So what are you waiting for, let's start making it. All the materials are put together, click to make, and then these things are merged into a ball. Ten seconds later, the production was completed. A water purifier with a stone as a base, a wood as a frame, covered with cloth, and a bucket underneath, appeared in front of Ankai. To be honest, he was disappointed just by looking at this appearance, because this thing is too rough and crude, giving people the illusion that I can do it without a system. In fact, if you don't rely on the power of the system, but assemble it yourself, you can really install it, but it's hard to say how much purification effect it can have. After all, the power of the system is very fantasy and cannot be judged by common sense. The working principle of the water purifier is also very simple. You only need to pour dirty water on the cloth, and then the clean water can penetrate a little bit. But this step is only the second to last, and the real water purification process is the last step. Add, fuel, 
The crude water purifier, fuel, is something called a chemical pill. This does not appear in the manufacturing list because it is a consumable and needs to be continuously provided to produce clean water. Fortunately, the system does not require chemical pills at all, as long as they are made by chemical means. In other words, Ankai currently has no big use of sleeping pills. It's really unreasonable, Ankai sighed silently. Just such a tattered thing, just add a piece of medicine, can purify sewage into clean water. If this news spreads out, I don't know how many water purification plant owners will cry in the office. Ankai immediately began to make water purification. This crude water purifier can produce one liter of purified water per hour, the kind that can be directly drunk. It happens that Ankai needs some clean water now, so as not to wake up suddenly and find that there is no water to drink. This water purification equipment can be used alone or in conjunction with a water collector. The water collector can collect the water vapor, rain and dew in the air. It is best not to drink the produced water directly, at least it has to be boiled. But if it is matched with a water purifier, it will be perfect. The water trap has been unlocked after Ankai made the workbench, and the required materials are also very simple. Open black lens bracket rough water trap, construction, can be used to collect water. Construction materials. Wood 5, plastic 1, bucket 1. Close black lens bracket. The way this thing is made is even more funny. That is, a bucket is inserted with a few pieces of wood to form a frame, and then a plastic funnel is placed on the wooden frame, which can be used to collect water. It can be said that there is no technology content at all, and it can be done by individuals. And different from the water purifier, the water collector does not have any other advantages, and there is no such thing as a water purifier that can purify the water with a single tablet. If there are any advantages, it is estimated that it can be used for brushing. Experience it. The problem of drinking water was solved by the two buildings, and Nkai then focused on other things. The drying table, the leather making table, and the weaving machine are all made. On the one hand, they are used, and on the other hand, they are naturally used to gain experience. Anyway, the way upstairs is also sealed by him, before the zombies completely break the door. He has a lot of time to collect materials and then make crazy productions. He wants to make himself stronger before the outside form becomes worse. The gunfire sounded intermittently, and then quickly stopped. Each time the gunshots sounded and stopped, it represented the demise of one or a group of survivors. In today's situation, once a shot is fired, it will inevitably attract a large number of zombies. No one can escape under such a siege. After all, even the army has failed, let alone these ordinary people. Even if they have guns, bullets, grenades, and even RPGs, it won't help. While Nkai was making what she needed, she was distracted by the movement outside. To be honest, he doesn't really care about the lives and deaths of other survivors. After all, this is not the earth, and these people are not his compatriots. As a traverser, it is difficult for him to arouse sympathy. But his mood is still not very good. After all, while the survivors continue to die, his danger is gradually ascension. With these people here, fighting with the zombies from time to time, and firing a few shots at random, can greatly attract the attention of the zombies and by the way guide the zombies from the apartment. But the number of survivors is limited. Once the zombies have no targets and continue to wander around aimlessly, they may come back to the apartment again. What's more, if there is no survivor, who should he go to when he really needs to make a transaction? This is also a very real problem. Although Nkai still has no shortage of things, at least within a month, he will have no shortage of water. But people who are not far-sighted must have immediate worries. What will happen in a month, and now he can't predict at all, he can only take one step at a time. Continue to sullen production. Leatherworking table requires wood, rope and leather, which Ankai has. The rope can only be limited by unpacking the clothes, and the dirty clothes he was too lazy to get back are now also useful. Weavers need wood, rope, metal and thread, but the clothes must be removed. The old clothes on the four, five, six and three floors were all collected by Nkai, and there were almost thirty pieces left, all of which were so broken that they could not even be seen, and were directly ignored by Nkai before. But the system treats everyone equally, no matter how bad your clothes are, they can be used for you, not to mention your conscience. In addition, 
Ankai also took a good look at the method of making ammunition. Basically it is very simple. Metal and warheads can be smelted through a furnace. The warhead can be smelted directly, which is very important, leaving a lot of trouble for Ankai. The shell can be made by the workbench or the machine tool. Unfortunately, the machine tool is an item that can only be unlocked by a third level engineer. At present, he is not only not enough in level, but also in terms of skill points. The basic requirement of the third level engineer is fifth level wisdom. Wisdom needs two skill points from the fourth level, fourth level fifth level wisdom, plus the two skill points required by the third level engineer, a total of six skill points. In addition, gunpowder is needed. A single amount of gunpowder can provide 30 rounds of bullets, but Ankai has no idea where to find the gunpowder. Making gunpowder yourself, if it is through a systematic approach, requires chemist skills. The chemist is currently capable and has enough level, but he has no skill points. Skill points are really scarce, more scarce than any material. Another method is purely manual, not through the system, completely self-made. This is even more a pity. And Kai's understanding of gunpowder only stays in the superficial situation of, one nitrate, two sulfur and three charcoal, making gunpowder entirely on his own. Why not sleep in bed? So the bullet is still unable to make it, although it has been unlocked, but the required materials are still not found. But he can make the warhead and the shell first. And Kai found a few rooms, smashed the floor with a sledgehammer, and removed all the sewer pipes. The sewer pipes here are made of lead, so the reserves are not small. It is very interesting to say that it has been many days since I have been in this world. Through observation, Enkai can basically be sure that the development of science and technology in this world is not much worse than that of the Earth. If there is a real gap, the time will not exceed 10 years. However, water pipes on the Earth have already used a lot of plastic and ferroalloys. Who else would use lead? Although lead is not particularly expensive, it is still a bit extravagant when used for water pipes. In addition, the lead pipe itself has a large weight, high cost, and particularly poor ductility, and even if it is used as a sewer pipe, it is difficult to say whether it will be polluted. However, considering that the apartment itself is very old, it is understandable that it is too late to change the technology. With lead, the warhead can be smelted. It doesn't matter if there is no crucible, it just melts slowly. Anyway, there is no gunpowder. And Kai is not in a hurry. As for the copper used to make bullet casings, this is a bit troublesome. Copper has a wide range of uses in human life, ranging from mechanical parts and precision instruments to small wires and musical instruments. Copper can be used. This thing is too scattered, and the reserves are indeed far less than lead. At least in this apartment. And Kai also took a lot of effort to tear down the wires everywhere, and also melted several copper trophies that he found, only to save five units of copper. Five units of copper can make up to 100 bullet casings. Compared with the warhead, the gap is a bit too big. Continue to melt on the other side of the furnace, don't stop. And Kai began to make new protective gear. The equipment provided by the system seems to be a lot, but in fact it is not enough. And Kai counted. Two for the head, two for the neck, three for the back, two for the torso, two for the arms, one for each of the hands, two for the waist, two for the lower torso, one for each of the left and right legs, and the same for the feet. Counting it all, there are a total of 21 equipment behaviors. At first glance, they seem to be quite a bit, but in fact they are not the case at all. Let's talk about the head first. There are many things that can be equipped on the head, such as goggles, masks, helmets, antivirus areas, hats, hoods, night vision devices. Dot can you say which one is useless? If possible, and Kai really wants to equip all these things, but unfortunately there are only two equipment positions. Now that he has few equipment, he doesn't need to be entangled. When he has more equipment and a complete range of types, he must make a trade-off. The two equipment positions on the neck are very easy, after all, the one that can be equipped on the neck is a telescope. There is one equipment space left. You can bring a necklace or some other less heavy equipment. In addition, the wireless headset will also occupy the equipment space on your neck. There are three backs, which are divided into a backpack and two shoulder bags. The positions of the two shoulder bags can carry the gun, do not occupy the weight, but cannot be switched instantly. 
Needless to say, the torso is just wearing clothes. Arm bags, bracelets, watches and other equipment can be equipped on the arm. The waist is a belt and a waist bag. These two equipment positions are basically locked. There is almost no other equipment that can be placed there, not even a knife. The lower torso is just wearing pants, the same as the upper body. The position of the legs can be placed in a gun bag or ammunition bag. The gun bag is equivalent to a gun equipment position. Only pistols and revolvers can be placed, but they can be switched instantly, which is very easy to use. If you make it yourself, you need a third level tailor. Damn. Needless to say, the feet are shoes. So, if you really want to arm yourself to the teeth, these equipment slots are still not enough. But there is no way. The system provides so much. If you want to install more things, you need other means. But it's a little far from Ankai, he doesn't even bother to think about it at the moment. Ankai made a complete set of leather armor for himself, with metal components inserted on it, and Ascension improved his defense. The iron armor is actually the same, but the iron skin on the iron armor is thicker, so the weight is also terrible. The iron components of the leather armor are much lighter in comparison, which not only can protect the ascension, but also does not affect Ankai's actions. So leather armor is king, and iron armor is heresy. With the equipment ready, Ankai finally rose to first level. He didn't add this first level skill to chemist. Of course, chemists are very useful. This skill can not only know gunpowder and various chemicals, but also interact with pharmacologist and improve pharmacology home's output, quality, research and development, etc., can be said to be very useful. And this skill can help Ankai make gunpowder, which is great. The reason why he didn't add this skill was mainly because he didn't have the raw materials for making gunpowder. He didn't even have sulfur charcoal. Oh, charcoal is available, and it can be smelted through a furnace. The furnace can make charcoal. What kind of operation is this? Ankai vomited, but without the sulfur, gunpowder can't be made, so the chemist skill is just clicked, and it has little effect at present. He didn't order the chemist skill for the time being, but instead ordered a building master. Open black lens bracket building master level minus one, you can build and reinforce houses faster, consume less power and materials, and gain more experience. Unlock. Kitchen, storage room. Close black lens bracket. Ankai's next goal is to use the materials on hand to reinforce the upper three floors of the apartment as much as possible. Didn't he reinforce the stairwell before? That was his limit at the time, and the room he lived in was only secondary reinforcement. But with the building master skill, he can perform the third reinforcement. The first two reinforcements are made of wood, and the third time you can use iron bars. After the reinforcement, the effect is better, and the zombies are less likely to break the door. Ding 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 dang dang. Call. And Kai stood up and wiped the sweat from his forehead. Finally it's finished. He originally thought that system manufacturing didn't need to consume physical strength, but he didn't know when he really started to build a home, what does not consume physical strength, it just consumes less. This time he started a major project. He demolished all the things that could be demolished on the third floor of the apartment. Furniture, doors, walls, water pipes, as long as they are system-approved materials, he hasn't let go of them. More than ten axes and hammers were broken, and two crowbars were broken. Fortunately, the benefit is always greater than the cost. Although a lot of materials are consumed to make tools, the materials obtained by dismantling the house are obviously more. Fortunately, all the second-level tools were used later. If you have to always use first-level tools, it is estimated that the consumption will be greater. At this time, the upper three floors of the apartment building were almost as clean as the rough house. If Ankai hadn't really understood the load-bearing structure of the house, he estimated that he would be able to remove the floor slabs at the same time. Such crazy behaviors, naturally, are considerable benefits. Among other things, all the materials that were taken down were used by him for defense. Taking his room as a starting point, facing the direction of the stairs, there are 12 wooden door partition walls lined up, and all of them are reinforced with wooden boards twice and reinforced with iron bars once, plus the walls of the original apartment building, this is a total of 12. Fortifications. In this way, even if the zombies break through the wooden wall of the stairwell between the third and fourth floors, there are still 12 obstacles waiting for them. Not only that, 
He also installed wooden walls in the stairwells from the fifth floor to the fourth floor and from the fifth floor to the sixth floor, and reinforced them three times. If this can be broken through, and Nkai has no time to escape, then he really deserves to die. In addition to the walls, all the windows on the floor where he was located were also strengthened by him. The purpose of strengthening the windows is not to prevent zombies. In fact, zombies have a high probability of not having the ability to climb. Anyway, after so many days, Nkai has never seen a zombie climbing a wall. He strengthened the windows, mainly to guard against people, and the partition wall between the fifth floor and the sixth floor stairwell also served this purpose. In the doomsday world, people are more terrible than ghosts. Zombies are a group of idiots who only know how to attack. Their horror lies in their large numbers and fear of death, and there is no such thing as a decline in morale. In fact, as long as you have enough modern weapons and strong enough fortifications, even if the zombies really come up like a tide, it is not irresistible. Humans are just the opposite. There will not be many humans in the doomsday, and the weapons may not be sophisticated enough. But they are smart enough, cruel enough, for a little food, they can start with any kind of food. When the cost of killing is too low, and it is almost the same as nothing, the bottom line and conscience of man will be quickly broken through. It is impossible for ghosts to become humans, but it is not easy for people to become ghosts. If they knew that there was such a treasure house in this apartment, I believe those survivors would definitely not let go of such a good place. Those walls that zombies can't climb up can't help humans. In fact, even those wooden walls that zombies cannot easily break through, humans can easily break through. Therefore, while strengthening the surrounding defenses, Ankai has not yet created an escape route by itself. Open black lens bracket elevator, building, can be slowly ascending or descending. Materials needed. Lifting system 1, lifting platform 1. Close black lens bracket. This is a building that can only be unlocked by an engineer at the third level. The moving speed is not fast, and it is completely incomparable with an elevator. But at such a time when the power has been cut off, the elevator is just waste, worthless except to provide materials. However, the elevator does not need electricity and can be solved with a simple mechanical structure. As for the mechanical structure, Ankai didn't understand either. He is just a ruthless maker. The elevator needs two parts to make up, and each part needs to be made separately. The lifting system requires wood, ropes, mechanical parts and stones. The wood is the support, the ropes are used to connect the lifting platform, the mechanical parts are made into the core of the lifting system, and the stones are used for counterweights. The lifting platform is even simpler. It is a wooden table with iron bars around it as a frame. At this time, Ankai has installed the lifting system on the roof, and the materials for the lifting platform are already available, ready to be made. It only takes 10 seconds to complete the production, and then combine the two. The whole process takes less than half a minute, and he can leave the apartment calmly and go directly from the top of the building to the street. This is his real backstop. Although those defensive measures and reinforcement methods are also useful, their biggest role is to fight for him for this half a minute. Just half a minute, not too much, even a human survivor, there is no reason to break through so many defenses in half a minute. It is really hard for an engineer to get to third level. He hasn't done anything these days. He just demolished, built, and dismantled. He just saved enough skill points to get to third level in the shortest time. In fact, the experience given by Jonjia is far more than that of manufacturing equipment or tools and weapons. Unfortunately, the system does not allow experience to be acquired, and experience is only available when it is first disassembled and first reinforced. If you made it yourself, and then dismantled it, only 50% of the materials will be returned. There is no experience at all. Otherwise, he would never have only the level of a third level engineer now, maybe he has already filled up the Wisdom Master program and engineer skills. In addition, several of his optimistic skills were temporarily abandoned by him. No way, the most important thing now is to save your life. If you can't use these preparations and backhands, then it's naturally the best. But what if you don't unlock it when you really need it? That's not a joke. If one doesn't work well, it's really fateful. Only this kind of thing, and Kai will never make a joke. Now that the fortifications have been completed and the back road is ready, he can finally breathe a sigh of relief.
Look at the own warehouse again, except for some food left, the other materials are basically cleaned up by him. He used wood, stone, metal, cloth, leather, anyway. The warehouse was empty and looked a little bleak. Should think of a way to go out again. And Kai whispered. If he can, he certainly doesn't want to go out, but there are so many ifs in the world. Just yesterday, he personally threw away a batch of spoiled food. It stands to reason that when the food has just spoiled, it can still be eaten if it saves a province. In difficult times, people even eat bark. As long as the spoiled food is not the kind that is seriously corrupt, it is not a big problem to eat it. But Nkai did not dare to bet. He has no medicine now, and sleeping pills have been used to make pure water one after another. And even if there are leftovers, he can't take sleeping pills to treat his illness. If he accidentally eats his stomach, diarrhea and everything are trivial, and he is afraid that the disease will affect his physical condition. He has a simple diet recently, and he has begun to lack many of the elements needed by the body, which can be seen in the system. The system lists most of the elements necessary for the human body, showing that the green circle is normal, the yellow circle is a warning, and the red circle is already in a critical state and must be supplemented immediately. Ankai now has several elements appearing in yellow, and it is not far from red. In this case, if the disease reappears, the consequences will be disastrous. So Ankai can only throw away the food that has deteriorated. Throw a batch and eat a batch, and now the rest is still enough for him to eat for 10 days. 10 days are very short, and it will pass in the blink of an eye, so he still has to make preparations in advance. It would be great if you could unlock the farmer skill, and you could plant your own land. Fortunately, his equipment is not what it used to be. In terms of weapons, mainly bullets are guaranteed. After adding the skill of scavengers, he discovered a lot of good things in the process of demolishing the apartment facilities, including a gunpowder. It looks like it should have been brought in a gunpowder gun for children, but for Nkai, it was a relief. With gunpowder, he can make ammunition. The quantity of gunpowder was the least among all the materials he used to make bullets, and he could only fill 30 bullets. But it's better to have it than nothing. Before, he only had 5 bullets. It really wasn't enough. Now with 30 bullets newly added, his combat effectiveness has been greatly ascension. In melee combat, he replaced the machete with a second level machete. This was made by accident when he was gaining experience. The quality of system creation is also very fascinating. It is said that the ascension wisdom level has the chance of ascension. In fact, Ankai has now added wisdom to the fifth level. As a result, besides this machete, only one hand axe has two stars. Quality, all other tools and weapons that are manufactured, are all a line of quality. Those so-called second-level tools do not refer to two stars, but the same material and the same shape, which is a little bit more efficient and durable. Star ascension, the effect is more obvious than the level. Later, he discovered that if he wanted an ascension star, he still had special skills. If you want to make high star weapons, you need to add blacksmith skills. If you want ascension armor stars, you need to add armorsmith skills. If you want ascension tools, you need to add workers skills. If the skill is high, the high star equipment will be automatically unlocked. You don't need to fight for luck, just make it directly. It's so cheating, skill points are so scarce, how could he use skill points to add these skills? Do not rule out that the level will be higher in the future, and the skill points will be increased. Wrong. If he really has so many skill points, wouldn't it be good to add some fighting skills or investigative skills? In a word, the place where the system is good is really good, and the place where the system is good is also a real pit. A two-star machete, a pistol with 35 rounds of ammunition, a full-body leather suit, and three parts of chest, legs, and hands are also equipped with plug-ins. It has only been a week since the last time he went out, but Ankai's combat effectiveness has been greatly ascension, which also gave him more confidence in the face of zombies. The gunfire in the city has been decreasing recently. There are fewer gunshots, and there are fewer zombies moving in a large area. The vast majority of zombies will only wander within a certain range without the temptation of external forces. Ankai can better observe the trajectory of the zombies and find a safe route. This is a good thing. But it is also a bad thing. Because the people who survived are definitely old fried dough sticks.
This kind of person may be the most troublesome, because sometimes you can't guess what these people think. And those who can survive can't be said to be cruel, but they are definitely not soft-hearted people. Once you run into it, it might be a fight, which is the last situation and Kai wants to encounter. Of course, these are all his conjectures. What is the situation outside, and whether the people who are still alive can get along well or not can only be known by personal encounters. The girl named Mary before, almost killed him. If he hadn't had a gun in his hand at the time, it would be hard to say what the end result would be. In short, we cannot think of people so badly, but we must never think of people so well. Everything is packed and ready to go out. And Kai put down the materials used to make the lifting platform, and equipped all the water weapons. The main reason for not doing the lift now is to prevent other survivors. The six-story building is not too high. Someone must be able to climb it from the outside. The elevator is his last way of retreat, and there is no room for loss, so he will never make it in advance before it is officially used, so as not to be taken by others and break his back. This is also the best solution that Ankai can think of. If anyone has a better solution, please provide it as soon as possible. Waiting online, very anxious. This time out, and Kai didn't make a plan for himself. I made a simple plan before, but the plan couldn't keep up with the changes. This time, he didn't simply make any false travel plans. He probably chose a direction to explore, and what he could find was nothing. Go back when you feel it's time to go. Not in love with war, not greedy, and try not to put yourself in danger, is his biggest plan. If he wanted to leave the apartment, and Kai would have to go through the lower three floors. He decided to take this opportunity to clean up the zombies downstairs. Unknowingly, and Kai's level has reached level 15. Now his skills are gradually enriched. Reduce physical energy consumption, marathon level 1, ascension scavenging effect, scavenger level 1, ascension building ability, building master level 1. As in Kai's major skill, the engineer skill level is the highest, has reached level 3, and can already make crucibles and furnaces, but these two things have relatively large consumables. When he upgrades and unlocks, there is not much material left, and he is reluctant to dismantle the used materials, so it doesn't matter. When the apartment is cleaned up, he will have new materials again. The prerequisite of engineer level 3 is wisdom level 5. For this wisdom level 5, he has used all the skill points he has recently obtained. Just by loading the skill points on the wisdom general outline, there are as many as 7 skill points. In less than a month, he was promoted to level 15. He himself was quite satisfied with this speed. The wisdom bonus at level 5 is also great. At present, when making items, the experience bonus he can get is 100%, which is double experience. However, it seems that there is a lot of bonus, and the actual experience required for ascending level is also gradually. Fortunately, there is only a little bit left in the 10 6th level experience bar, just to brush a few zombies into the first level. According to Ankai's vision, this apartment will exist as his base camp in a short time. He could not tolerate zombies under his feet, and he could not tolerate his life environment being surrounded by zombies every day. At the very least, you have to clean up the zombies in this building, and finally put the door on, so you can feel more at ease when you are upstairs. Going down to the third floor, there are no zombies in the corridor. It can be seen that the ability of the zombies to climb stairs is really not good. Try to put light on your feet and move to a certain door on the third floor without attracting the zombies downstairs. This is the zombie room he confirmed during the previous search, and there are two zombies in it. To be honest, Ankai has never dealt with two zombies at the same time, which is a big challenge for him. Ankai held the machete in his right hand and picked up the lock opener in his left hand. The unlocker was unlocked by the engineer at the third level, and it is just a very low-level unlocker. If you want to make a more advanced lock opener, you also need the thief skill. Pushing the unlocker into the keyhole, an unlocking bar appeared in front of Ankai. The arc of the semicircle appears gray as a whole, only a small part of it is white at 1 o'clock, and a bright yellow pointer slides back and forth on the arc. Ankai knew what it meant by just looking at it. When the pointer fell into the white bar, he lightly tapped with his mind. Boom, a voice rang softly in his mind. Then the sliding speed of the pointer suddenly became faster, and a smaller white bar appeared in the direction of 10 o'clock. 
There is a second time. And Kai's reaction was not unpleasant. He clicked quickly when the pointer was about to miss the moment. Then came the third time, which was even more difficult. But as a game veteran, and Kai still has this reaction. The third click was completed accurately and simply, and the lock was unlocked successfully. Putting away the lock opener, and Kai quietly held the door handle, gently pressed and pushed, and the door slowly opened. He quickly switched to the pistol, ready to fight. The room was quiet, there was no sound. And Kai entered the room, not daring to take a breath, and closed the door gently with his backhand, so as not to protect him. Then he observed the bathroom on the right. There was a zombie in it, standing with his back facing the door, and standing motionless in the corner with his head down. And Kai immediately put away the pistol and changed his hands to hold the knife. Taking a deep breath and then suddenly jumping out, the machete in his hand severely slashed on the back of the zombie's neck. Before the zombies screamed, and Kai held the handle of the knife with his right hand and pushed the back of the knife with his left hand. He exhausted his whole body and pushed forward fiercely. The zombies were pushed against the wall. At the same time, there was a click. The blade cut the zombie's neck. The hand of the zombie was still scratching the wall instinctively, but Ankai had already turned around quickly. The zombies in the living room had heard the movement and ran over. And Kai rushed from the bathroom and slashed again on the zombie's neck with a swift stab. This time, although he could not cut off the other's neck, he cut off the zombie's vocal cords. All the voices were forcibly blocked back, and the zombies opened their mouths and rushed forward. However, and Kai was stabbed into his mouth with a knife, and pushed it to the ground with all his strength. Before the zombie got up, and Kai immediately took out a big axe, raised it high, and fell heavily. The head of the zombie rolled to the side, and Ankai also sat on the ground with a sore body. Killing two zombies is simple to say. In fact, as long as he spends even a second in this process, or makes any mistakes, it will cause terrible consequences. Fortunately, he knows the apartment structure very well, and he has already deduced countless possibilities in his heart, so he can kill the zombies so smoothly. The double killing of zombies is an unprecedented feat for him. Of course, he can also use a gun. Engineers can make a simple silencer at the third level. Metal wood and cloth can be used. He has not verified the silencer effect yet, and does not want to verify it in the apartment. The zombies are attracted over, making it more difficult for them to clean up. Wait until you go outside and try again when you are far away from the apartment. Putting away the big axe, this thing is easy to use, but it is also really heavy. He swung it vigorously once, and he felt a lot of physical energy was consumed. Then there is a pleasant search time. The room with zombies must have not been visited by other survivors. And Kai is also very much looking forward to how many good things there are in it. I checked the bathroom first and found some cleaning supplies. I also found a small medicine box containing some common medicines, such as cold medicine and painkillers. These are the most precious materials in the end. In Ankai's view, the value of this thing is even higher than gold. The living room is fairly intact, and the household appliances are also there. Except for the broken TV screen, everything else seems to work. It's a pity that the power has been cut off, and he hasn't built a generator yet. Can it be used? Let's try again in the future. The corner of the living room is the bedroom door, and the third floor is a large apartment. There is a living room, a bedroom and a kitchen, which is no different from an ordinary family. The bedroom is a bit messy, but the things are still intact, there are a lot of clothes, and the bedding is complete, take it away. Finally, there is the kitchen, an open western kitchen with a middle island. And Kai searched aside and found a lot of kitchen utensils and tableware. He also found more than 10 cans in a wall cabinet. Great harvest, and Kai put the can away with a smile. Everything in the refrigerator had gone bad, and Kai took out all of them and threw them on the ground. He will take away the refrigerator in the future, and forget the garbage in it. The kitchen utensils and tableware are installed, as are the seasonings, cooking oil and some sausages. Finally, he found an unopened box of red wine in the deep corner of the cupboard. He had already drunk the two bottles before, and now he just made up. In fact, he didn't like to drink before. Really. It's not that life is under pressure now. He just happened to use alcohol to paralyze himself when he was tired. After doing the math, the things in this room are really not small. 
bring everything that can be taken away directly, and the two backpacks are actually full. Sure enough, the first thing you do when you go out is to go home. It really treats the end as a game. And Kai teased himself, but the smile on his face couldn't stop. He even wondered, after cleaning up the two layers, do you not have to go out? But soon he himself denied this idea. You must go out when you go out, and this plan cannot be changed. He is now clearing the third floor, the main purpose is to go up to the first level before going out, the real search still has to wait until after he comes back. Give me die. When the axe blade fell, and Kai heard a beautiful music. His legs softened and he almost sat on the ground. But this place is not my own home, so I can't let my guard down casually. Putting away the weapon, and Kai first washed his hands, and then quickly began to search. Just look for food and some easy to handle things, and don't want it for a while. This is the seventh zombie he killed on the third floor. He made a mistake in his previous judgment in this room. He didn't expect that there was only one zombie in it. It is estimated that the other survivors, like him, misjudge the degree of danger here, and as a result, the entire room's materials have been retained to this day. Killing seven zombies in a row caused and Kai to consume a lot of energy. The mental pressure is also relatively high, after all, he has to go through the process in his mind every time he kills the zombies. When killing zombies, you still need to concentrate, for fear of any mistakes. After killing the zombies, they must search quickly and prepare for the next wave of operations. Fortunately, all of this is worthwhile. There are fewer zombies on the third floor, and a large amount of materials have been searched by himself, and by the way, he has also been promoted to first level. This time, and Kai didn't hesitate anymore, and directly added skill points to muscle development. This is the core skill of the power bar, and its main function is the power of ascension alone. In fact, and Kai wanted to add this skill a long time ago. At that time, he had this idea not for Ascension's combat effectiveness, and Kai has always been a firm family building party. The reason for this idea is mainly because of the strength of Ascension, to a certain extent the Ascension person's weight-bearing ability. And Kai's physical fitness can only be said to be ordinary, so in the process of building a home, he more than once imagined how cool he would be if he was a strong man. It is a pity that at that time his first task was Wisdom Level 5 and Engineer Level 3, and his strength skills could only lean back. Now there is no such problem. The first level intelligence requires two skill points, and the first level engineer needs to be able to add intelligence to the seventh level, which is far away. It just so happened that he was going out to search, a little ascension of strength, it can always increase so much combat effectiveness. When I went home for the fourth time, I piled up a bunch of messy things on the ground, and Nkai officially went out. Back on the third floor, Nkai did not stop this time, but walked straight down. After going down more than ten steps, Nkai slowed down, held his breath, and became cautious. First, he listened carefully to the voice of the zombies. The zombies would always make bursts of throat sounds unconsciously, as if there was a thick sputum stuck in their throat. After hearing no sound near the stairs, and Kai was relieved. Go down to the second floor and hide in the stairwell. And Kai looks out with his probe. Sure enough, there were more zombies on the second floor. At the far end of the corridor, there were four or five zombies piled up there, like a group of gangsters surrounding an iron barrel bonfire. Seeing this scene, and Kai nodded, then turned and walked towards the first floor, no, ran. This time, his footsteps suddenly speeded up, and the sound of his footsteps did not converge. The, punks, on the second floor spotted him and rushed towards the stairwell roaring. And Kai made two steps and three steps and went down to the first floor. He saw three zombies on the porch. The zombies also found him. However, before the zombies came around, he rushed out of the apartment like a gust of wind. The reason why the voices no longer converged is on the one hand to speed up, and on the other hand to draw the zombies out. It is impossible to shoot a gun. It is tantamount to death. You can only rely on your own human flesh to attract you. On the street, several zombies scattered around were also attracted by Nkai and rushed towards him. Nkai ran all the way, not much slower than the zombies. At this time, the benefits of the system are once again reflected. Strength ascension, so that his explosive power can be enhanced. Marathon skills reduced his consumption and allowed him to last longer. 
The weight reduction reduces his burden and makes him more flexible. This is an advantage that other survivors do not have. Most of the survivors who were besieged until death encountered zombies in a hurry, and were reluctant to throw away those hard for searched supplies when escaping. Coupled with the fact that the zombies had just returned to the city at that time, they were still relatively concentrated. The result was that the physical exertion was severe on the way to escape, and he had to shoot and kill the zombies, then attracted more zombies, and finally until death. Throwing away the supplies is even worse. If there are not enough survival supplies, even if you escape the zombies, you will not be able to live the rest of the day. For the average person, this is an almost unsolvable problem. But for Ankai, these are not problems. After running tens of meters forward, Ankai made a sharp turn and rushed into an alley on the left. This alley was facing the window of his room, and he used it as a way for him to get away from the beginning. The alley is full of various building materials, and the terrain is very complicated. Borrowing the complex terrain here, Ankai quickly ditched the chasers behind him, and finally stopped in a small park a few hundred meters away from the apartment in a straight line. There are also zombies in the park, but there are only three pitiful zombies, and they are still far away from each other. He hid in a bush, took out food and water, and quietly recovered his strength. Physical fitness is still too weak. Ankai thought. Even if you add a little marathon skills, it's still not enough. Therefore, the battle line is really difficult to follow. If you don't have a good enough foundation, the price to be paid to become god of war is really too great. Especially when there are not many skill points in the early stage, many core skills cannot be added together, and I am afraid that they will not be able to provide effective combat power for a long time. Therefore, it is easy to fall into the vicious circle of, unkillable zombies no experience no upgrade even more unkillable zombies. This is very uncomfortable, and Kai has a deep understanding at this time. Of course, he is not denying the battle line, nor is he denying the two skills of muscularity and marathon, because this is the case. Of course, if Ankai has good friends to help, he can try to take the battle route. Let the good friends help cover, create a situation where the zombies can be killed more easily, and he will finally make up for the head, so as to quickly brush up the experience level, form a more effective combat effectiveness, and then feed it back to the entire team. This is the shape of the battle line. For the Lone Ranger, it really is better to build a route. After resting for a few minutes, Ankai left the park and moved on when his body was almost recovered. Although he didn't set any plan for himself this time when he went out, he still had goals, and there were still many goals. First of all, it is still to find food. This goal has been greatly eased after Ankai cleaned up a few rooms on the third floor of the apartment, and the importance can be pushed back slightly. Then the original second goal has become the first goal now the police station. As we all know, the police station is synonymous with arsenal. And Kai is now very short of guns. He has a modified double-barreled shotgun, but unfortunately there are no bullets. He also has a small pistol with plenty of bullets, but the pistol is generally not very lethal. Especially when dealing with monsters like zombies that are not afraid of death, it is really hard to say how much damage the pistol bullets cause. If possible, Ankai hopes to get more weapons and firearms, especially rifles, that is what he wants most. The next target was a pharmacy, and I had a glimpse before, but now I just went to look for it to see if I could find more medicines. Medicine is also never too much. Especially in the doomsday world, when the production and transportation channels are basically broken, the medicine will only be used less and less. It's okay to make medicine by yourself, but even if you use skills, it's useless if you don't have the materials. The next goal is to try to see if we can communicate with other survivors, such as the Science and Technology Union building in the north of the city. This information is still what Mary told him before, and Ankai is still more interested in such a survivor who can communicate normally. The final goal is to find another place that can be used as a base camp. Although the facilities of the apartment have been gradually improved, the disadvantages of this place are also obvious, that is, the materials are not abundant. As the interior of the apartment was almost demolished, its value began to be greatly reduced. And Kai must continue to upgrade. Since he is taking the construction route, he has to keep building and climbing the tree of science and technology. 
At this time, a place that can provide a lot of materials is very important, and the apartment that has been almost emptied obviously can't satisfy him. So the last goal of his trip is to find a new home. This is a middle stage goal. It doesn't have to be solved this time. If it can't be solved this time, it will be the next time. In short, you must have this goal and plan to evacuate the apartment at any time. And Kai moved forward while avoiding the zombies. When he encountered a situation that he could not hide, he tried to create a one-on-one -on -one situation between himself and the zombies, killing each other with the fastest speed and the lowest sound. There was also a mistake in the middle, which attracted a small wave of zombies. The running and stopping along the way and the fighting were a severe test for his physical strength. When he was almost exhausted, he finally came to the back door of the police station. The backyard of the police station is a small parking lot, the gate is tightly locked, and there are no zombies in the yard. And Kai struggled over the wall and sat down against the root of the wall. His clothes were soaked with sweat, and his chest was undulating violently like a bellows. After taking a few breaths, he quickly took out food and water after his breath calmed down a bit, and started eating and drinking to replenish his strength. After resting in the backyard of the police station for nearly 20 minutes, and Kai felt much better. It was past noon, and it was the hottest time of the day. The big sun was above my head, and the sun was stunned, and he was still wearing a piece of leather armor. The temperature was so touching, and Kai felt that he was about to have heat stroke. But no way, this is the safest place he can find at the moment. There are hordes of zombies outside, and the police station is probably not much better. Now that his strength was almost restored, he immediately jumped up from the ground and ran to the back door of the police station. This police station is quite big, with four floors, each floor has six windows on one side, so there are more than 20 rooms. Counting the front, it is estimated that there are more than 40 rooms. With so many rooms, I hope I can get a big gain. And Kai thought silently in his heart and pushed open the back door of the police station. The hinge made a harsh creak, attracting a few zombies in the lobby on the first floor of the police station. Fortunately, Ankai was well prepared, raised his pistol, aimed at the zombie closest to him, and shot the first bullet in his life. Snapped. A cloud of dust suddenly exploded on the wall. Missed. Ankai was a little embarrassed. This is not to blame him. As a citizen of the Celestial Dynasty, when did he touch a real gun? I have never had shooting experience, and I have not added any shooting skills. It is normal to miss. But it doesn't matter. He has many bullets, and two of them can be wasted. The effect of the simple silencer is not bad. At least it is different from the situation where other survivors can spread across the street with a single shot. After an Kai shot, the sound of the gun became a little muffled, and the sound was mainly echoed in the police station. He glanced across the road across the front entrance of the police station, where several zombies were attracted by gunfire. There were zombies further away, but no gunshots were heard, and they were still wandering in place. The effect is acceptable, and Kai decided in his heart and aimed again. Snapped. This time, the bullet accurately hit the zombie, staggering the zombie. But it was a pity that he was clearly aiming at the zombie's head, but in the end he shot the zombie in the chest. But this result is acceptable to him, at least the second shot did not miss the target. Ankai stepped back two steps, less than two meters away from the back door of the police station. He did not rush to fire the third shot, but waited for the zombie to walk to the door, and he was able to reach him as soon as he stretched out his hand. When the foul smell had already wafted over, he shot against the zombie's face. This time the effect is very good, so close range, fools can hit zombies. The power of the bullet was fully exerted, and the rotating impact instantly shattered the zombie's brain. The bullet entered from the forehead, flew out from the back of the head, and exploded the skull. A large piece of red and white stuff sprayed the zombie's face behind it. The headed zombie shook his body and slowly fell backward. The zombies at the back seemed to be irritated, roaring, pushed the companion in front of them away, and rushed towards Ankai. With the first time, there will be a second time. And Kai was already numb to killing zombies, and did not have the extremely irritating and disgusting feeling when killing zombies for the first time. Now that he tried to shoot, he became more calm overall. The back door of the police station is just a small iron door that can only accommodate one person at a time. The second zombie rushed forward, 
just following in the footsteps of the previous companion. And Kai continued to take a step back and continued to Carmen. There are six zombies in the lobby on the first floor of the police station, and the number of zombies has reached more than ten after the subsequent attraction. And Kai kept changing positions, but he always got stuck at the back door of the police station and never let zombies gather outside. Pounced one by one, he could still deal with it, if several pounced at the same time, then he would definitely be dead. I have to say that there are really many zombies in the police station. And Kai killed 12 zombies in one breath, and the back door was blocked. As a result, the roar of the zombies came from inside. Not only that, there are also zombies outside the backyard wall who heard the movement, and were pulling the big iron gate to enter here. And Kai casually removed a window, turned the window and entered the police station. When he came to the lobby on the first floor, he saw three zombies with their backs to him. There is no need to say anything, just do it and you'll be done. And Kai feels that he seems to be quite talented in combat, and his adaptability seems to be particularly strong. Before killing zombies, he obviously didn't have any melee skills, and his body was not very strong, but the speed of killing zombies was not slow. Now that the pistol is used, the speed is even more straight ascension, as if he had already killed countless zombies. He owes his many years of experience in survival games, what kind of scene he has never seen, what kind of zombies he has never killed, although it is all experience in the game, but experience is experience and it works. And he thinks this may also be related to the potential of human beings. In very critical moments, humans can always create miracles killed three zombies, and Kai did not care about the back door. The back door has been completely blocked by corpses. If the zombies from outside want to come in, they can only smash the window or detour, hoping to dig through the pile of corpses in the back door. It is really not a simple matter. Turning around and closing the front door of the police station, he also drew a wooden stick from his backpack to fasten the door. I dare not say how long it would stop the zombies. At least it was fine for a while. Then came the happy search session again, and Kai said that he was already hungry and thirsty. Where is this place? This is an arsenal. If you are lucky, a wave of fat is not a dream. Even if you have bad luck, you can always add some equipment and ammunition. With such a wish, and Kai went straight to the fourth floor. He decided to search from top to bottom this time, because he couldn't wait to find a good gun. When I passed the third floor, I encountered a zombie blocked by rubbish. This fool didn't even know how to make detours, so he directly rewarded him with a peanut. Arriving on the fourth floor, and Kai rubbed his hands, all scavenger skills were activated, and he began to search. One minute passed, two minutes passed, five minutes passed, ten minutes passed, half an hour later, and Kai returned to the lobby on the first floor of the police station with an expression of old constipation that could not be pulled out. Seeing that the police mark had been crooked in the lobby on the first floor, he sighed long. This is an opponent. For four floors, he turned inside and out, and checked several times on the way to make sure that his own scavenger skill was indeed there, and it was not revoked by the system. But why hasn't anything of value been found? Except for three police training manuals that were too dirty to read, and a small box of pistol bullets, there was nothing. Not to mention firearms, but not even a baton, the only box of ammunition was found in the toilet. There are bullets in the toilet. He really wants to ask, what does it mean to put bullets in the toilet? The entire police station was ransacked so clean, as if it had been licked by a dog, so that even the scavenger skills were ineffective. After thinking about it, Ankai can only transfer the blame to other survivors. There must be a master scavenger in it, otherwise it is impossible to search the police station so cleanly. Wasn't the previous mall also visited countless times? He still found all kinds of things in the horns. It doesn't make sense that the police station can't do it. It can only be said that this place is really too important. Firearms are absolutely necessary in the end. It is really difficult to move without a gun. Blame yourself for coming too late, if you can come a day earlier, there might be something left. I wasted a lot of bullets for nothing. Before killing zombies at the back door of the police station, he shot out more than 30 bullets, many of which were too bad at the beginning and missed. In the end, I found a box of 30 bullets, and I lost several rounds inside and out. It's a beeping dog, and Kai felt a little unhappy. But there is no way. 
he couldn't find the survivors who had been to the police station before, and he didn't even know where Daoist's home was. This is the case with the police station. I can only hope that the drugstore can give myself something good. There were already many zombies in the backyard at this time. Fortunately, the front door was still clean, and Kai stuffed the wood back into the backpack. Since there was not enough harvest, the things he brought out should not be wasted. Out of the police station, recognizing the direction, and Kai rushed to the drugstore. After walking a few streets and bypassing more than a dozen litters of zombies, and Kai smoothly came to the vicinity of the pharmacy. However, when he was more than 10 meters away from the pharmacy, he had to stop. Because he found other survivors. There are still a lot of people, there are five people. They are fighting with zombies at the door of the drugstore. Two of them held guns, a pistol and a submachine gun, and the other three held wooden sticks, hammers, and kitchen knives. The one holding the iron hammer was a male survivor with an extremely burly figure and a sledgehammer whirring. The survivors with wooden sticks and kitchen knives were nearby to assist, and the three of them just blocked the five zombies. The two gun-bearing survivors were both women, and they obviously did not dare to shoot, for fear of attracting more zombies, so they were just responsible for guarding them, and would never join the battle if they were not a last resort. And Kai hid on the corner of the street, watching the five-person team not far away, and did not dare to act rashly. The opponent has more people than him, and the firepower is stronger than him. Although there are currently zombies involved in them, haven't the two guns moved yet? If I rush out at this time, I can't say that I will definitely be beaten into a sieve, but I will definitely not get much better in the end. He decided to observe first to see if there is an appropriate time. Helping is definitely not going to help. And Kai is also a very selfish person. The other party hopes to get medicine, and so does he. At this time, it is already a conscience that he does not go to the bottom of the well, and he counts on him for help. That's really too much. And even if he helped, it's hard to say whether the other party appreciates it. Don't kill all the zombies when the time comes. The other party turns around and kills him. It's really a human being to use a knife to make me a fish. This is another opponent. And Kai sighed silently in his heart. This group of people cooperated very tacitly, and the speed of cleaning up the zombies was faster than Ankai had imagined. Interspersed in the moving room, each of the zombies was directly blasted with a sledgehammer. And the other two were not given for nothing. The wooden stick cooperates to control the direction of the zombie, while the kitchen knife slows the zombie. Zombies can also be slowed down, of course Ankai knows this. What do zombies use for their activities? Isn't it the same body? Although it is already in a zombie state, it still needs the cooperation between muscles and bones to make the body move. This is the role of the kitchen knife man. With each knife he went straight to the muscles of the hands and feet of the zombies, the zombies couldn't lift their arms and couldn't step out, so he could only scream with his mouth open. He was beaten up with a wooden stick again to make a pose. Finally, he was fatally hit by a sledgehammer. Great, pretty, handsome. The cooperation of these three men cannot be said to be seamless, but a few zombies obviously can't help them. And Kai is very fortunate that he did not recklessly pass, otherwise the end of Own is probably the same as that of zombies. When the male sledgehammer hammered over the last zombie, and Kai knew that the drugstore had no chance with him. He took two steps backwards and was about to leave, but a man's voice came from a distance. Man, you have been watching over there for so long, come out and have a chat. Listening to the sound of the urn, the shadow of the sledgehammer man subconsciously appeared in Ankai's brain. We are not malicious, you also came for the drugstore. If you need medicine, we may be able to trade. Trade, if there can be a peaceful transaction, it is naturally best. He definitely needs medicine. Pharmaceutical master although it is possible to make medicines, like chemist engineer and all other crafting skills, they all require raw materials. Various herbs and chemicals are needed to make medicines, but Ankai doesn't know where to find these things. He can think of ways to grow herbs by himself, but at least he needs farmer level 2 to do it, and he is not sure about the specific planting cycle, and the seeds are nowhere to be found. But before that, once he fell ill, he could only use ready-made medicines to tide over the difficulties. Ankai didn't want to come here in vain. But there are five people on the other side. If this is malicious, he will almost certainly have to rush to the street on the spot. 
While Nkai was still hesitating, the man's voice sounded again. If you can't believe us, we may be able to trade with zero touch. Zero touch. And Kai was shocked. He stepped forward, poked his head out of the corner, and looked at each other. It was the brawny man who was speaking, leaning on the hammer, with a hearty smile on his face. I can put the things you need here, you can pick them up by yourself, and put down the trading items when you leave. We will not touch each other during the whole process to ensure the safety of both parties. The brawny said, and Kai's eyes lit up when he heard the words. This method is not bad. In this case, no one dared to shoot, otherwise it would be troublesome to attract a large group of zombies, so as long as there is enough room to escape, there is no need to worry about being ambushed by the other party. Don't you worry about me running away with the medicine? And Kai asked, if you choose that, I can only accept it. But don't you think the world is really terrible now? The government is incompetent, and people in the entire city have become zombies. Shouldn't those of us who are living should help each other more? Maybe you have tasted the taste of darkness, but believe me, the taste of light is definitely better. Quote. When the strong man said this, his expression became serious. And Kaixin said that of course I know the smell of sunlight is better, if possible, who wants to travel to this ghost place. He traversed his previous life, not daring to say that it went smoothly, but he hardly encountered any bumps. Going to school and working smoothly and falling in love, although very ordinary, it is satisfying. That is to say, the current situation makes his life a little bit more difficult, but it is far from darkness. To be really dark, he had tasted it too, but it was a bit salty. In short, both the expression and tone of the strong man gave people a very positive and bright feeling, and Nkai couldn't help but convince him a little bit. But it is impossible for him to let his guard down completely. Make a deal. The transaction can still continue. As long as the zero-touch transaction method is used and the counterparty ships first, he is completely acceptable. Great. What medicine do you need? The strong man nodded and asked with a smile. Any medicine is fine. I don't have any special needs at the moment, just to reserve some. Understand, everyone thinks so, so I will get you a little for every medicine. The strong man said, loosening the handle of the hammer, taking off the backpack behind him, and then starting to take out the pills from the inside. There are slabs, bottles, and even loose grains. This is for colds, this is for diarrhea, this is for cough, this is for heart disease, this is for insecticide, and this is for pain. The strong man introduced to Nkai in the same way, but unfortunately, there was a gap of more than 10 meters between the two sides, and Nkai couldn't make it clear. Fortunately, the strong man is a thick and thin person. He took out a piece of clean paper and shredded it. Each medicine was filled with 5 to 10 pills for Nkai, and marked on it to prevent Nkai. Admit mistakes. What do you need? Seeing the other party so seriously, and Kai felt that he could not be without a conscience. Just like you, everything is fine, food, water, clothing, weapons, and ammunition. You can trade with us if you think you have a lot of things. As the burly man said, he just sorted out the pills on hand, and then he wrapped all the medicines he was about to trade with a rag and placed it under his feet. And Kai watched the group retreat, and when they retreated more than 10 meters away, he slowly stepped forward. While lowering his head to check, he has been paying attention to the movement of the strong man and others. Confirming that the medicine is okay, and the person is okay, he just relaxes a little bit. Put the medicine in the backpack, but hesitated when choosing the trade item. Food is of course important, and it is not impossible to trade, but when he thinks about the unconditional trust of the other party, he feels that the value of food may not be enough. Lifting his head, and Kai couldn't help but ask another question as he looked at the brawny group of people standing in the distance. You really don't worry about me running away with something. There must be some worry, but would you really do it? Man, if you lose the help of the outside world, you can't survive the end on your own. You may not need a companion, but you will definitely need help. A few of us don't have much reputation, but in a few blocks around, we still trust us. If you do, believe me, even if we don't say anything, people in the surrounding blocks will not trust you again after they know about it. They won't trade with you, won't team up with you, won't even talk to you, you will be isolated by everyone. Quote. The strong man said seriously. And Kai raised his eyebrows when he heard the words. 
he didn't care much about the words in front of the strong man. He really doesn't need outside help, he has a system, and he can live well on his own. If he didn't meet this group of people today, he would be able to clean the zombies in the drugstore by himself. But he was very concerned about the confident expression of the big man. It seems that they are really well known in the surrounding area, and they are also trusted by others. It seems that you don't seem to believe it. Maybe you should really ask about the reputation of our Simpsons. The chopper man who had not spoken spoke up. He looked a little ordinary and his voice was also ordinary. The Simpsons, the co-authors are still a family. Looking at the looks of the three brothers, and Kai suddenly felt sympathy for the next two girls. No, 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 I care about the bad looks of others like this. Actually is not believe you, in fact I don't understand the situation here. No, before the end, Kent was already very famous. They are the best people in this film, and everyone likes him. The man with the stick looks a little tender, he is probably not too old, and his voice still has a hint of tenderness. Actually, I just woke up not long ago. He said what he used to deceive Mary before, but the people on the other side nodded again and again. It is true that patients with many diseases are in a state of weakness for a long time. They have difficulty in contact with the outside world, and it is normal for them to have no knowledge of the outside world. It's so pathetic. There is such a disease. The three men didn't say anything, but the next two girls spoke one after another. Both of them wore hoods, making it difficult to see their looks. And Kai could only tell that one of them was black and the other was brunette. Man, it seems that you were really unlucky. The world became like this as soon as your body recovered. Guys, I think we should help him. These medicines will be given to him. What do you think? Kent said to the other four companions. The four nodded one after another. Agree, Can, I have no opinion, no problem and Kai spoke at this time. There is no need to give it away for free. I said these are not for sympathy, and the transaction is going on normally. These medicines are what I need, and I was thinking about what to use to trade with you. Now I want to understand, these bullets are my trade items. Quote. And Kai took out 15 bullets and placed them on the ground. It's the so-called reciprocity. Medicines can save lives, and bullets can save lives. He thinks such a deal is fair. Of course, he still has the thought of making a good relationship with the Simpsons. He cannot accept the help of others, but he can't really avoid contact with people at all. People are social animals and have been alone all the time, and sooner or later they have psychological problems. If what this group says is true, then having a good relationship with them is probably the first step for Ankai to formally integrate into the world. So he also has to release some signals to make the other party think that he is also a friend. Haha, ha, it's so interesting. And Kai couldn't forget the expressions of Kent's group when he pulled out the bullet. Bullets are definitely one of the most important materials in the doomsday, and this point does not need to be repeated. There are no large military factories around the city, and ordinary survivors have not mastered the bullet manufacturing technology, and now that transportation has been interrupted, in the absence of external supplements, the city's bullets are definitely used for one round. One less shot is extremely precious. For Ankai, it's a little different, because he can make bullets himself. Copper and lead are two metals that are very common in daily life. If you look at a city, the storage capacity is definitely not small. Gunpowder is hard to find, but the material itself is not uncommon. Sulfur and saltpeter can generally be bought in pharmacies, but also in some special stores. For example, sulfur can be bought in fertilizer shops, Saltpeter can be bought in places selling food additives, and both can be bought in chemical shops. If there are chemical plants around the city, these things may still be found in large numbers. In the chemical industry, sulfur and saltpeter are relatively large amounts of materials and will not be subject to government control. If you only find the right place, the difficulty of obtaining it can be said to be very low. Don't worry about this thing being taken away by others. There may be many people who know the effects of saltpeter and sulfur, but there are certainly very few who can use it. Not to mention charcoal, you can burn wood directly in the furnace when you go home, and it can be made at zero cost. The bullet is neither precious nor precious to Ankai. He now has incomplete materials, and the quantity he can make is very limited, so it is slightly precious. 
but as long as he gathers all the materials and has enough skills, he can start to explode bullets in minutes. Kent and others obviously didn't expect Ankai to trade bullets, but they were stunned for a while. In the end, a girl behind Kent put down the gun in her hand, and with her hands empty, she came to Ankai alone and gave him a contact method. If you need help, you can come here to find us. Her voice is a bit nice, soft and waxy, but with a hood, she can't see her looks clearly. This can be regarded as a simple disguise. After all, the law is now a piece of waste paper. Once a good appearance is revealed, it will often attract other people's coveting. This is the same as Mary's face was painted gray and she never took a shower. After getting the contact information, and Kai left quickly, but didn't go far, but went around in a small circle and returned from the other side. This pharmacy should also have sulfur and saltpeter, perhaps in the backpack of Kent and others, or in the pharmacy. He didn't rush to ask Kent, mainly because he was worried about what they thought of. After waiting for Kent and the others to walk away, they were completely invisible, and then the cat waste entered the drugstore and quickly searched for it. As a result, sulfur and saltpeter were not found, but some scattered drugs were found in some inconspicuous corners. Could it be that they were taken away by Kent? Could it be that they also know how to make bullets? But seeing them get a bullet before is a surprise expression, it doesn't look like they can make bullets. It may have been taken away by other survivors earlier. And Kai thought, forget it, it doesn't matter, if you don't find it here, just go to other pharmacies. There are also chemical shops. In such a city, it is absolutely impossible that there are no chemical shops. As long as you find a chemical store that has not been emptied, it is estimated that these two things will not be lacking. At this time the sky has gradually dimmed. The day today is basically in vain. The overall income of the police station and pharmacy was much lower than expected. Especially the police station only found a small box of bullets and three manuals. This income is almost like nothing. But there is no way. After all, the world does not revolve around a certain person. When there is luck, there will naturally be times when it is unlucky. A place like a police station is already extremely important, and it is easy to covet it. It is normal that nothing is found. On the contrary, if a large amount of supplies are really found here, then I am afraid I really have to think about whether there is something stuck here, or other unknown reasons. The same is true for the pharmacy. The final harvest of medicines was less than expected, and saltpeter and sulfur were not found, but getting to know the Simpsons was a big gain. In short, the plan cannot keep up with the changes. Don't be discouraged if you don't get enough, just keep looking elsewhere. The population of this city is not one in a thousand, and there are zombies wandering outside. Most people are unable to come out to find supplies. The number of people who can come out is extremely limited, and the scope of activities is also very limited. There must be a large amount of supplies in a state where no one cares. As long as you look for it with your heart, you will definitely get a big gain, don't rush for a day. And Kai randomly found a hotel to spend the night. He tried his best not to be alarmed by the zombies in the hotel. He went all the way from the fire exit to the third floor, found a room without zombies, locked the door, and fell asleep. He woke up early the next morning, stepped on the morning mist, and embarked on the journey again. His goal has not changed. He went to the police station to find a pharmacy to find a more suitable place to build a home. If the harvest yesterday is big, he may only need to find a place to build a home, but who can't let yesterday's gains be seen. Fortunately, there is no conflict between these three. Anyway, you just go all the way and look around. When you see the police station or the pharmacy, go in and check it out. If you can't see it, keep looking. The apartment Ankai lives in is northwest of the city's downtown. Now he is heading all the way to the southwest. I believe it will not take long to get out of the city. There is a river from northwest to southeast, passing by the side of the city. The current route of Ankai is the nearest route to the river. The reason for going to the river is because the river is also considered as an important traffic route. There are definitely a large number of warehouses and factories on both sides of the river, and it is located in the suburbs, so the number of zombies should not be too many. Of course, it is estimated that there will not be fewer survivors in such a treasured land, but I always have to go and take a look. What if I encounter a place that meets the requirements of Ankai to build a home and happens to be unoccupied? Maybe he just started his home this trip. 
He has unlocked the engineer level now, but there is not enough material to make him miserable. There are many new facilities and equipment in the system, but unfortunately they cannot be made without materials. The higher the level of things, the more exaggerated the materials needed. Especially for low-grade materials, the amount is often massive. For example, the third-level oil refinery unlocked by an engineer requires very exaggerated materials. It is to the extent that Ankai dismantles all the existing things in his home, and the materials obtained cannot make three. Of course Ankai couldn't demolish his own house and build an oil refinery. He is not stupid. So I can only go out to find material gathering places. The place where a lot of wood, metal, stone and other materials gather may be his next home building. Of course, it would be even better if it was close to the water source and had convenient transportation. So this is why he went straight to the small river outside the city. The surrounding buildings are in line with his needs. On the way, Ankai scoured some shops by the way, and there were some gains, but they were not important. For example, he encountered a bakery. The bread in it was placed in a special storage cabinet, but it was not broken, but it was too dry, as hard as a wooden stick, and Ankai was struck with a hammer very hard. It is estimated that this food cannot be eaten, but it is good to use it to beat people. Uneatable bread is worthless, and Ankai lacks food, but not enough to eat wooden sticks for a living. On the contrary, the three bags of flour he found intact, must be brought. He is now a third-level engineer. As long as the materials are sufficient, he can make a hearth when he goes back, and then make a stove. With a stove, he can bake cakes by himself. Although he is not good at cooking, he still knows how to make dough. It doesn't need to be so delicious, just mix it into dough and then make it into a pie, and bake it. He himself thinks so. The flour was a bit heavy and could only be put in the backpack behind. For this reason, Ankai also emptied some less heavy things into the backpack in his hand. As a result, the backpack was full again the next day. The backpack on the back has lattices, but the load is relatively full. The backpacks in his hands are light-bearing, but they are relatively full. Let's see if we can get any better results later. If so, we can only find a way to make a grid. The road out of the city is not long. And Kai spent most of a day walking out of this small city. Once out of the city, he saw a huge complex of buildings far away. There is the riverside area, and the distance is indeed very close. And Kai couldn't help speeding up. There are many scrapped cars parked on the road to the riverbank, and some cars still have traces of being burned by the fire. Almost all of these cars can't run. Ankai has tried many cars along the way, but the result is either a lack of fuel or a lack of electricity. Anyway, none of them can run. Later, and Kai didn't bother to try it, it was a waste of time. His current goal is to build a home and climb a technological tree. In fact, as long as the technological tree climbs up, he can also make fuel himself. Now he can build an oil refining platform, which is used to make oil, and the materials needed for oil refining are also very simple. Use starch-rich plant fruits, such as potatoes and corn. And Kai doesn't understand the specific principle, anyway, the system can do it if it says it works. It's just that he can't build a generator yet, but it doesn't matter. Engineer level 4 unlocks the generator. With a generator, the motor bed, lights, and household appliances can all be used. This is not the end. With the generator, the battery can be charged, and those cars that are losing electricity will no longer be a problem. At that time, there will be oil and electricity, and only a car. Isn't it a small cast? What's more, when his engineer is level 4, he can build a car by himself, and transportation is no longer a problem. In fact, he can start building cars now. Although he can only build one type of motorcycle, it is a huge improvement. It's a pity that he doesn't have all the parts needed to build a motorcycle, and he has to dismantle the car. Of course, this is nothing. The main reason is that the motorcycle is not suitable for today's urban terrain. Motorcycles are very dynamic, too easy to attract zombies, and there are no protective measures around them. Once besieged by zombies, the consequences will be disastrous. On the contrary, it is a car with powerful horsepower and cabin protection, which can ignore the impact of zombies to some extent. Therefore, Ankai would rather walk than choose a motorcycle, but has been holding back and preparing to build a car directly. Thanks for watching, 
please like and subscribe.